All Hello, right. Everyone. Hello, everybody. Doki doki. <laughs> How are y'all doing? Welcome to Thursday Night Let's Plays. That's right. The Semblance of Sanity Brothers, or SOS Indeed. Bros. SOS yes. Bros. Now, again, we know you're very excited, but just be nice to the mods. No spoilers. No mods, backseat gaming. You don't have to be nice. You don't have to be nice, mods. Yes. 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 <laughs> Rule with an iron mouse. Guys, but this mm -hmm. is this is something that's actually very uh, momentous in yes. terms of what's happening Indeed. here. This is our first time playing a game together on stream, ever. Uh, that's very true. It's ever. also our first time ever playing a visual novel. First time playing a visual novel. Mm -hmm. First time playing Doki Doki Literature Club specifically. Mm -hmm. First time yes. playing on a Twitch stream together. Mm -hmm. And first time... I would say kind of with this setup of what we're going to do. Right. So we're going to try and just play the game and just, you know, enjoy it and yep. have a good time Hopefully and that goes well. figure out also a good time to where we can, you know, stop basically. Right. Because mm -hmm. this is the thing. We're not going to finish the game tonight. No. Unless uh, we just happen to be really, really fast, but yeah. Yeah, I, I could see us maybe finishing the game because people have been saying it's it's not a big game. Mm -hmm. Like maybe next week. Yeah. Like like the very next Thursday night and stuff. But uh, mm -hmm. yeah, we're we're really excited though because this is one of those games that uh, yeah, we've heard so much about and have yet heard, heard nothing about. Yes, exactly. If that makes sense. Like I'm I'm ready for the twist. You know, basically, right, like exactly. The, what's what's the what's the twist on the visual novel right. kind of concept? Because basically, it's just moment where people are like, "Oh my god, you need to get to this part." Right, right. Yeah. Because because basically, <clears throat> these games boil down to just waifus, right? That's right. basically the gist of it. Yeah. So so I'm. I'm I'm excited for that. Um, I'm gonna try and do voices. I, I know you said you would like to do yeah, voices as well. But the thing is, these I mean. Voices are going to be for the waifus mainly, so, you know, yeah. We can have like a Chad voice for you know the main character. <laughs> Wait, Percy, Percy hey. with the 100, 200 bits. Thank you so much, bro. Glad to have you here, yes. Savvy with the tier one sub. Thank you. Welcome, welcome. Yeah. Oh man. All right. All right. Um, are you guys ready? Yeah. Are Are you guys ready? Because we'll we'll try to make sure this all runs smoothly. Mm -hmm. um, audio seems to be coming in really well. Um, just kind of make sure that everything is uh, going uh, going well here. Uh, yep. Mods are uh, mods are doing their thing. Yep. We got mm -hmm. lots of mods in here. Here we go. <laughs> Chief Dan George. Hey, this is it, Chief. <laughs> yep. Awesome. All right. All right. <laughs> okay. Okay. Hype, hype, hype. All right. Cap was taken with the follow. Thank you so much. Welcome to the SOS Brigade. All right. So we're going to start up the game here and make sure dun, that we've got dun, a good dun. setup that's uh, sustainable here. So yeah. let's put on our headphones. That's right. Oh, oh, okay. okay. Starting out with that, this game is not suitable for children or those who are easily disturbed. Okay, wonderful. Okay. All right, wonderful. Yes. Cool. Let, let us uh, let us do something really quick here, though. Um, just gonna quickly grab this and go to here. Let's go. To here. All right, just making sure that I can get the game to go in properly. Oh you know yep. when you know when okay. the game starts with a disclaimer like that that it's um it's really going to be something. Can we get this actually to scale properly? Um, maybe. Apparently not. not. Maybe not. All right. I think that's about as uh, it's about as good as we're gonna get. And then yep. for us, let's put us. I don't know. Where do you guys think we should put ourselves? Up here? I think we can't put ourselves anywhere in this area because that's right, where so it looks like the, the, the text the text is going to be. So that's I say we could fine. either go here, yeah. maybe make ourselves a little bit smaller. I don't know. These are the four waifus. Yes, yes. <laughs> this game is not suitable for children or those who are easily disturbed. Well, good yeah. good right. to know. Mm -hmm. Good to know. 
All right. Oh my god. I wonder god. if that was something that they had at the beginning, or whether that was something that they <laughs> added in because you know. All right. Let's close that. Yeah. Um, just making sure we've uh got this in a good spot here. Um. Well, we got yeah. lots of people coming in with bits and stuff. Let's yes. make sure we can catch up on that. Um, if we need to move our camera, please let us know. We will switch things up mm -hmm. if need be. But holy wow. crap. All right, we have Ayunix with the follow. Thank you so much. We have Meowpuff with the 500 bits. It's like, oops, bits got all over the floor. <laughs> we have uh, uh, Percy with the tier one sub gift to Chief Dan George. Awesome. We have Do You See Banana Man with the... Uh, uh, Twitch Prime sub, thank you yep. so much. Lobonitis, with the follow. Welcome to the SOS Brigade. We have General SC Pat with the 200 bits. Time for good, clean waifu fun. Yep. <laughs> all right. Dutch Derp Box with the follow. Guys, thank you all so much for coming in, joining mm -hmm. us here. Uh, Jacob is going to be in charge of mouse. That's so right. we will deliberate over decisions and such. Mm -hmm. um, I will be in charge of keyboard chan in case we ever need to do yes. anything regarding that. Should we actually move these two things over here? That way we can. Um, the so what I'm thinking, yeah, what I'm thinking, what we'll like... have here is because we have to get this in a way that we can see everything. Uh -huh. Is that I will have the prompts coming up on the left here. Cool. And then we can have chat coming in right about, I don't know, right about here. Cool. That should be good. And then. I mean, we could make this. Just full screen, right? Yeah. I mean, that'll probably mess up the things we got in Streamlabs. Let's let's check it out. No, nope, looks fine. Right. Cool. Okay, awesome. I'm not sensing any sound yet, so let me make sure that uh, we get that uh, worked out here. Um, yep. Yeah, just gonna. <laughs> Should we get that? Cool. Cool. Okay, so no, it did it did mess up the uh, oh. actual game capture here. Gotcha. So let's uh, let's push this up. Oh, people making noise and stuff. Hold on. Yeah, hold on. Let's let's mix this back to uh, some semblance of sanity. Indeed. Oh. Should be close enough. All right. Yep. Let's okay. See. Looks looks pretty good. Yeah. All right. Okay. So, seeing if anyone's saying that the uh, uh, top left probably is good. Top left, top right doesn't matter. Okay. Okay. Cool. Awesome. All right. Cool. So. Yeah. Individual suffering from anxiety or oh. depression may not have a safe experience playing this game. For content warnings, please visit ddlz.moe slash warning dot html. Okay. All right. All right. Hopefully that's not like a spoiler. By playing Doki Doki Chili Cup, you agree. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you agree that you are at All least right. No, I, I have to say, um, I have to say this game kind of... I think it's kind of spoiling just by doing this, but it's also... Okay, good. The game audio is coming in through yeah. just fine. But I think it's also telling us a little bit because when I put this game into the Twitch tags, mm -hmm. it's like visual novel, horror. Oh. Yeah. Gotcha. So, um... Yes, Green Mustang <laughs> would definitely be proud. I oh, am. Uh, I am hoping that at the very least, this game is not against any kind of Twitch, you know, content. Well, rules it's or not mentioned, like so. Yeah, I don't. I don't think it was. No. Uh, Cyrus with the five hundred bits. Uh, Thank we you. got Comrade Cap Capon Chic. Uh, Caliber Total with the follows. Thank you so much. Glad yes. to have you here. Let's oh, get my this God. going. I agree. Aww. All right. Team Salvato. Mm. Not suitable for children or those who are easily disturbed. Hmm. We want to make sure we know this. Doki Doki! doki. Alright. Okay, I, I'm going to say right now, I am going to immediately uh, like either uh, the girl on the left or the girl on the second to the right. Pink the or red bow. Sort of bob. 
pixie haircuts. Yes, exactly. Short haircuts, kind of Anyone with long hair, you don't, you don't, you don't <laughs> trust people with I long hair. I actually get the feeling that this girl, because she's at the front, is actually going to be one of the best girls. Okay. All right. Um, settings. Let's check settings first. Oh, sure. Not that we we'll know um, anything about this. Put text speed maybe a little bit less. Oh, less? Yeah, yeah. Just so we have time to read everything, just in okay. case. Okay. Um, let's do music volume and just sound volume down a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. No, not too much. Not too much, but... Yeah. Yeah, I would say that's pretty good. All right. Um, okay. Show I think this is... Again. I think this is good. Um, let's go. Yeah, let's just do yeah. new game. Let's go. Oh, we have to pick name. a name. Oh, no. All right. Uh... Uh Oh, I can't use spaces. Dang it. Uh, uh SOS Bros. SOS Bros. Uh we can have our name be Chad, you know. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Chat! Chat, you have to help us come up with a name. What should we put as the name? Um let's have our name be someone from an anime. We can have our name be Onichan. <laughs> oh chin chin. <laughs> oh chin chin. <laughs> Um, Mouse Kun? Who what? Mouse Kun? Mouse Kun. We can't have um we can't have uh dashes, dashes or any oh, symbols hmm. or anything. We got to have a um, name that's like that we w that we're going to enjoy hearing like people say. Because the thing is there's no like voice acting or whatever. But uh -huh. whatever we have to fit in there, we could have it be uh so so uh so and so my my heart flutters every time you speak or whatever you know uh, like something that in like a like you know <laughs> oh why not a dbz fusion name jaleb <laughs> jaleb yeah. right. our ship name all right cool <laughs> that's such cringe oh my gosh by the way oh and general sc Patton with the 200 bits thank, thank you. you yeah and bob hey. of all of us oh wait 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 so hold on wait, wait. okay we have to decide voices and stuff. So whenever a character hey. comes up, no, 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 no. Whenever a character comes up, mm -hmm. we have to claim them. Tell you what, you be the two short-haired girls. I'll be the two long-haired girls. And who gets the main character? Whichever one is not talking. So we have to come up with a voice that we can each do. Right. Exactly. Well, we can all do our both do our own voice. All right. Okay. Okay. I cool. think this is what I clicked. Okay. I see an annoying girl running towards me from the distance, waving her arms in the hair like she's totally oblivious to any attention she might draw to herself. Okay. Mm, all right. Mm. That girl is Sayori, my neighbor and good friend since we were children. Childhood friends, cool. Yeah. Now, Sayori, almost like a certain voice actress. <gasps> you know the kind of friend you'd never see yourself making today, but it just uh. kind of works out because you've known each other for so long. Totally, yeah. We used to. Walked to school together on days like this, but started around high school. She would oversleep more and more infrequently, and I would get tired of waiting up. Ooh. Mm, okay. But if she's going to chase after me like this, I almost feel better off running away. Uh -huh. uh, uh, it's not like I like her or anything. Baba yeah. baka. However, I just sigh. <sighs> and idle in front of the crosswalk and let Sayori catch up with me. Make sure to project your voice. Get yes. Good, huh? Ha! Oh, wait, no, oh, no, wait, no, this no, is me. That's right. Ha! Ha! <laughs> I overslept again, but I, I caught you this time. Maybe, but only because oh. I decided to stop and wait for you. That's right, they have the name there. The picture yes. doesn't actually change. Gotcha. Mm. You say that like you were thinking about ignoring me. That's mean, Jayla. <laughs> well, if people stare at you for acting weird, then I don't want them to think we're a couple or something. Uh, fine, fine, fine. But you did wait for me, after all. I guess you don't have it in you to be mean, even if you want to. What if you say, sorry? When, when, when did you turn into, <laughs> like, like <laughs> sex appeal? <laughs> Nick, uh, I live on an island that I bought, you know, with my, you know, money. <laughs> what I, I don't know, what, whatever. <laughs> Manly meat slam. Oh, God. <laughs> we we cross, cross the street together. Oh, that's what we can have the narrator uh. and the person's voice. Hmm. We cross the street together and make our way to school. Louder, louder. <clears throat> As we draw near, <laughs> the streets become increasingly speckled with other students, making their daily commute. Oh my. By the way, Jaleb, have you decided on a club to join yet? The Doki Doki Club. <clears throat> a, a club? 
I told you already, I'm really not interested in joining any clubs. This is so cute. I haven't been looking either, Babaka. Uh, that's not true. You told me you would join a club this year. Uh, did I? <laughs> did I? Did I? Did I? Did I? I'm sure it's possible that I did in one of our many conversations where I dismissively go along with that whatever she's going on about. Oh. <laughs> This is Sorry, that's a little bit too much about me, when I'm perfectly content just getting by on the average while spending my free time on games and anime. Wow, this is too real. Uh-huh. I was talking about how I'm worried that you won't learn how to socialize or have any skills before college. Your happiness is really important to me, you know. And I know you're happy now, but I died thought of you becoming a neat in a few years because you're not useful to the real world. Wow. Y you trust me, right? Don't make me keep worrying about you. Oh, right, all right. <laughs> I'll look at a few clubs if it makes you happy. No promises, though. Jeez, this guy's really like a JoJo or something like that. Will you at least promise me you'll, me you'll try a little? Yeah, I, I guess I'll promise you that. <laughs> Yay! Why do I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl? <laughs> More than that, I'm surprised they even let myself relent to her. I guess seeing her worry so much about me makes me want to ease her mind at least a little bit, even if she does exaggerate everything inside of her head. Yeah, I can tell I'm definitely gonna like this girl. Yep. Hmm, school day is over. It's ordinary as ever, and it's over before I know it. Aw, it's a very simple class, I like yes. it. Yes. Always the windows on the left. I pack up my things, I stare blankly at the wall, looking for an ounce of motivation, just like Kingpin and Daredevil. <laughs> Clubs. <laughs> you sound so menacing when you talk. Sorry, this. wants me to check out some clubs. I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. A man of culture. I respect this. H Hello. S oh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> sorry, must have come into the classroom while I was spacing out. This is I look like around and realize that I'm the only one left in the classroom. This is like Jotaro as 15 before he's <laughs> hit like his body, you know, like growth spurt or whatever. <laughs> I thought I'd catch you coming out of the classroom, but I saw you just sitting here and spacing out, so I came in. Uh, honestly, you're even worse than me sometimes. I I'm impressed. You don't need to wait for up for me if it's going to make you late to your own club. Well, I, I thought you might need some encouragement, so I thought, you know. Know what? Well, you could come to my club. Sorry. Uh, yeah? There is no way I'm going to your club. Eh, meanie. Sorry is vice president of the lit lit literature club. Not that I was ever aware that she had any interest in literature. In fact, I'm 99% sure she only did it because she thought it would be fun to help start a new club. Why is it always the literature club? Mm -hmm. Since she was the first one to show interest after the one who proposed the club, she inherited the title vice president. Mm. That said, my interest in literature is guaranteed to be even less. But if there's cute girls, I'm sure it will Yeah, spike. I'm going to the anime club. <laughs> Come on, please! Why do you care so much anyway? Uh, well, uh, I kind of told the club yesterday I would bring in a new member, so... And Natsuki made cupcakes and everything. <laughs> Don't make promises you can't keep. Oh my god. <laughs> I can't tell if Sayuri is really that much of an airhead or if she's just so cunning as to have planned all this out. I had let out a long sigh. Uh, fine, I'll stop by for a cupcake, okay? Yes, let's go! <laughs> and thus, today marks the day I sold my soul for a cupcake. Okay, hold up, pause. We don't know how literal this is. <laughs> like, like, <laughs> like, let's be real, guys. Mm. He could be literally about to sell his soul for a cupcake, and he doesn't be. even know it. I dejectedly follow Sayori <laughs> across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit, being generally used for third-year classes and activities. So he's at least a, sec at mm. least a first year or second year, like yes. one, one of those two. Yeah. Sayori, full of energy, <gasps> swings open the classroom door. A whole new world! Everyone, the new member is here! I told you, don't call me a new member. Eh? I glance around the room. Mm. Perception check. Girl. Oh, one. okay, wait, wait. Uh, so who wants to do her? You want to do her? So I'm going to do her. Welcome to the Literature Club. It's a pleasure meeting you. Oh my. Sauri always says nice things about you. Ooh, I like it. It's condescending. 
Seriously? You brought a boy? Way to kill the atmosphere. Ugh. Ah, Jaleb, what a nice surprise. Welcome I thought you were going to give club. one of them like a deep man's voice or something at least. <laughs> All words escape me in this situation. This club is full of incredibly cute girls. <gasps> what are you looking at? If you want to say something, say it. S sorry. sorry. Natsuki. <laughs> Natsuki. <clears throat> the girl with the sour, att sour attitude, whose name is apparently Natsuki, is one I don't recognize. Her small figure makes me think she's probably a first year. She is also the one who made cupcakes, according to Sayori. You can just ignore her uh, when she gets moody, huh? Sayori says that quietly into my ear, then turns back towards the other girls. A anyway, this is Natsuki, always full of energy. And this is Yuri, the smartest in the club. D don't say things like that. Oh, okay. Yuri, who appears comparably more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with people like Sayori and Natsuki. Hmm. Oh, well, it's nice to meet both of you. Hmm. And it sounds like you already know Monica, is that right? That's right. Oh my god. It's great to see you again, Jayla. <laughs> Monica smiles sweetly. We do know each other. Well, we rarely talked, but we were in the same class last year. Monica was probably the most popular girl in class. Smart, beautiful, athletic. Basically, completely out of my league. So having her smile at me so genuinely feels a little... Oh, Y you too, Monica. Come sit down, Jaleb. We made room for you at the table, so you can sit next to me or, or Monica. Oh, oh boy. I I'll get the cupcakes. Oh boy. <laughs> hey, I made them. I I'll get them. Sorry, I, I got a little too excited. <laughs> then uh, how about I make some tea as well? Apparently she's supposed to be shy. The girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. As Sayori mentioned it, it's been widened so that there is one space next to Monica and one space next to Sayori. Ooh. Yeah, here's the first choice. Natsuki and Yuri walk over to the corner of the room where Natsuki grabs a wrapped tray and Yuri opens the closet. Hmm. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Sayori. Okay, because oh, no. it's just my friend. They didn't for even now. give us a, an option. Natsuki proudly marches back to the table, tray in hand. Okay, uh, are you ready? Ta da! Whoa! <laughs> Natsuki lifts the foil off the tray to reveal a dozen white fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little cats. The whiskers are drawn with icing and little pieces of chocolate were used to make ears. It's so cute! I had no idea you were so good at baking, Natsuki. Eh, well, you know. Just hurry up and take one. Sayori grabs one first, then Monica. I follow. <laughs> it's delicious! Sayori talks with her mouth full and has already managed to get icing on her face. I turn the cupcake around in my fingers, looking for the best angle to take a bite. <laughs> Natsuki is quiet. I can't help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. We're definitely is she the waiting first for me to take to a bite? Literature club. I finally bite down. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. <laughs> this is really good. Thank you, Natsuki. Why are you thanking me? It's not like I... Uh... Haven't I heard this somewhere before? <laughs> <laughs> made them for you or anything. <clears throat> eh, I thought you technically did. Sayori said... Well, well maybe... Uh... But not for, you know, you, Baka. <laughs> all right. All right. I give up on Natsuki's weird logic and dismiss the conversation. <laughs> Yuri returns to the table carrying a tea set. All right. She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot next to the cupcake tray. Aw. You keep a whole tea set in... Oh. <clears throat> You can keep a whole tea set in this classroom. <laughs> we'll get used to this. Uh, don't worry, the teachers gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? 
I, I, I guess. <laughs> uh, don't let yourself get intimidated. Yuri's just trying to impress you. Hey, th that's, that's not... You're going to have to find some way to separate those two voices. Yeah, they yeah, sound know, exactly the same. I know. <laughs> Insulted, Yuri looks away. I, I meant that, you know... I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but I at least enjoy tea. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. Monica raises an eyebrow, then smiles at me. So, what made you consider the Literature Club? Um, uh, I was afraid of this question. Something tells me I shouldn't tell Monica that I was practically dragged here by Sayori. <laughs> well, I haven't joined any clubs yet, and Sayori seemed really happy here, so... Uh, that's okay, don't be embarrassed. We'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? As president of the Literature Club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. Monica, I I'm surprised. How come you decided to start your own club? You could probably be a board member for any of the major clubs. Weren't you a leader of the debate club last year? <laughs> well, you know. To be honest, I can't stand all of the politics around the major clubs. It feels like nothing but an arguing about the budget and publicity and how to prepare for events. I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. And if it encourages others to get into literature, then I'm fulfilling that dream. Monica really is a great leader. Yuri also nods in agreement. Then I'm surprised there aren't more people in the club yet. It must be hard to start a new club. You could put it that way. <laughs> not many people here are very interested in putting all the effort to start something brand new. No, of course not. Especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention, like a visual novel, or like literature. <laughs> <laughs> you have to work hard to convince people you're both fun and worthwhile. But it makes school events like the festival that much more important. I'm confident that we can help really grow this club before we graduate. Right, everyone? Yeah! We'll, we'll do our best. You know it! Everyone, everyone enthusiastically, enthusiastically agrees. agrees. Yay! Such different girls, all interested in the same goal. Me! No, <laughs> Monica must have worked really hard to find these three. Hmm. Maybe that's why they were all so delighted by the idea of a new member joining. Why they were. Why they were. Ah. Though I still don't really know if I can keep up with their level of enthusiasm about literature. Mm. So, uh, Jaleb, what kind of things do you like to read? <laughs> well, uh, considering how little I've read these past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. What are you talking about? I've read play m manga. I mutter quietly to myself, half joking. <laughs> Natsuki's head suddenly perks up. It looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. I think we're supposed to be keeping track of these things, these different oh, yeah. personality things there. Not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. A anyway, what about you, Yuri? Don't tell me you read Yaoi. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with her finger. My favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. Ah, that kind of girl. Never mind. I... The level of creativity yeah. and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. Awesome. And telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on, clearly passionate about her reading. She seems so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious the, ways her light, the way her eyes light up that she finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. But you know, I like a lot of things. Stories with deep psychological elements usually immerse me as well. Uh -oh. Why do I get the feeling that's going to be this game? Yeah. <laughs> Isn't it amazing how a writer can so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination to completely throw you for a loop? Oh my! <laughs> <laughs> I, I can see where this is going. Anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. Oh no! <laughs> oh god! Oh no! I, I, read a, I read a horror book once. I desperately grasp something I can relate to at the minimal at the minimal level. At this rate, Yuri might as well be having a conversation with a rock. Really? I wouldn't have expected that, Yuri. For someone as gentle as you. <clears throat> I, I guess you could say that. 
But if a story makes me think or makes, takes me to another world, then I really can't put it down. Surreal horror is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world, if only for a brief moment. Oh my god. Uh, I hate horror. Oh, why's that? Well, I just... Natsuki's eyes dart over to me for a split second. Never mind. <clears throat> That's right! You usually like to write about cute things, don't you, Natsuki? What? Why the hell did your voice change like that? <laughs> what gives you that idea? You left a piece of scrap paper behind last cup meeting. Please. Just, it just... like you were working on a poem called... Don't say it out loud. And give that back. Fine, fine. Oh my god. <clears throat> <laughs> your cupcakes and your poems. Everything you do is just as cute as you are. Sayori saddles up behind Natsuki and puts her hands on her shoulders. I'm not cute. Natsuki, you write your own poems? God, his voice is... <laughs> eh, well, I guess sometimes. Why do you care? I think that's impressive. Why don't you share them sometime? Oh my god. N no. Natsuki, Natsuki averts her eyes. You, you wouldn't like them. Ah, uh, not a very confident writer yet. How Natsuki feels. Oh. Sharing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. Mm. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. Okay. And you must be willing to open up to your readers, exposing your vulnerabilities and showing them even the deepest reaches of your heart. Hmm. You may have writing experience too, Yuri. Maybe if you share some of your work, you can set an example and help Natsuki feel more comfortable enough to share hers. Hey, whatever you can handle, man. I guess it's the same for Yuri. Ah, well, I, I wanted to read everyone's poems. We all sit in silence for a moment. Okay. I have an idea, everyone. Mm -hmm. Natsuki and Yuri look quizzically at Monica. Let's all go home and write a poem of our own. Oh my god. Then next time we meet, we'll share them with each other. And hopefully have different voices. <laughs> Um. <clears throat> yeah, let's do it! Plus, now that we have a new member, I think it will help us all get a little more comfortable with each other and strengthen the bond of the club! Isn't that right, Jaleb? Monica smiles warmly at me once again. Hold on, there's still one problem. Hey, what's that? Now that we're back to the original topic of me joining the club, I bluntly come forth with what's been on my mind the entire time. I never said I would join this club. Sayori may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made any decision. I, I still have other clubs to look at, and, um, I lose my train of thought. All four girls stare back at me with dejected eyes. But, but... <clears throat> I, I'm sorry, I thought... Hmm. Jaleb. You, you all... I'm defenseless against these girls. How am I supposed to make a clear-headed decision when it's like this? That is, if writing poems is the price I need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls. Right. Okay, I've decided then. I'll join the literature club. One by one, the girls' eyes light up. Yes, I'm so happy! Sari wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. Hey! You, you really did scare me for a moment. If you really just came for the cupcakes, I would be super pissed. And that makes it official! Welcome to the Literature Club! Oh my gosh. Uh, thanks, I guess. Okay, everyone. I think with that we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Oh my god. Everyone remember tonight's assignment! Write a poem to bring to the next meeting so we can all share! Monica looks over at me once more. Caleb, I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Can I really impress the class star Monica with my mediocre writing skills? Dang it, Jacob, can we impress? Her? 
I already feel the anxiety welling up inside me. This is a real challenge. <laughs> yeah. We have to impress waifus with our writing. This is impossible. Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit-chat as Yuri and Natsuki clean up their food. <laughs> hey, Jaleb, uh, since we're already here, do you want to walk home together? <gasps> That's right. Sayori and I never walk home together anymore because she always stayed after school for clubs. Sure. Might as well. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> With that, the two of us depart the club room and make our way home. The whole way, my mind wanders back and forth between the four girls. Oh no. Sayori, Natsuki, Yuri, and of course, Monica. <laughs> Will I really be happy spending every day after school in a literature club? Perhaps I'll have the chance to grow closer to one of these girls. You need to talk a lot louder. <laughs> like... <laughs> All right. I'll just need to make the most of my circumstances, and I'm sure good fortune will find me. Okay. And I guess that starts with writing a poem tonight. Okay. We're writing a poem, then. Okay. Oh. Pick words you think your favorite club member will like. Something good might happen with whoever likes your poem the most. Oh, okay, okay. hold on. So this is our this is our choice. So we need oh, to... Oh, gotcha, it's a mini game. Yeah, so we need to decide which girl... Well, no, no, hold on, hold on. Okay. Which one will be our, our waifu? Who, are we, okay. who do we want to target here? We can't so, target... Yuri would be an easy target because she loves horror. We can't target Monica, though. Um, Monica... Monica didn't say anything, really, about what she likes to write. Not stuff. really... I think we, I think we target either. Okay, no, here's here's what she did say. She did say that she was um, lonely because of the, or something along those lines because of the other clubs. She talked about how in the other clubs there's the politics right. and things like that and that she well, just wanted to, um, uh, right. A soft think, voice, not a shrill one, Jake. Right. Your voice box will thank you. Yeah, yeah. So so Yuri is the shy one and likes the complex things. Right. Uh, Natsuki likes the cute and sweet and adorable right. things. Uh-huh. And then, um, shoot, Sayori is kind of like the emotional butterfly, essentially. Right. Very, I would say, mm -hmm. kind of sensitive. Yeah. So I would say we go after Sayori, probably. Sayori is the... Sensitive one. The sensitive one. So not the sweet stuff and not the complex. So kind of excitement. More uh, no, maybe that's more of a. I would say. Uh, yeah, sure, excitement. Yeah, sure. Let's try that. Yeah, okay, that's that's good. Okay. Um, let's um, uh, play. Play. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. Um. Um. Treasure. No. Uh, not bubbles. Not insight. I would say Cheers. skirt. Skirt. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's that's. Oh, uh, sunny. Sunny for sure. Sunny. Yeah. yeah. Uh, maybe no. Puppy. Positive. Positive. Yeah. You know. Sunny. Yeah. Yep. Yep. So positive stuff as well. Right. So uh, daydream. Imagination. Um, yes, daydream because that's her. She was an airhead. You know. Yeah. Yep. Uh, fickle. Um. No. Fluffy. No. 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 Fluffy. Yes. Definitely. Oh no, that's that's uh, it's not her. Um, pleasure. I no, I don't think it. These things bumping up and down is necessarily a sign of which. No, I think it is. That's, oh, it is. That's that's, that's, that's what it has oh, to okay. be. Like we're we're making ones that certain ones will react more strongly. Gotcha. To. Okay. Okay. So um, so let's do sparkle. All right. Sparkle. Cool. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do shiny. That's basically the same as sparkle. Uh, what? Oh. What? Okay. Um. um Pure? Uh, pure, sure. Oh. Ah! Okay. Um, uh, whoa. Um, uh, fantasy. Uh, oh, no, 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 no. no, no, no. That's, uh, that's peaceful? Yuri. Peaceful, sure. Yeah. yeah, good call. All right. Um, uh, uh, whoa. Uh, adventure. There are a lot of dark words in here. Yeah, adventure. Yeah, there we go. There we go. All right. Um, um, happiness. Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, um, spinning? Sure. Oh, okay. Uh, um, laugh. laugh. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's go. Now, there's not necessarily... Okay, well, no, they said it was, yeah, based on the words, but what if there was multiple words for a Dazzle. certain person that would do different things? Dazzle? Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Yeah, all right. Cool. Uh, beauty. Um, would that... Or dance? Flying? Dance or flying, I think it works. Both those are good. Yeah. yeah. 
Alright, uh, uh, fun. Yeah. Yeah! Right. Um, um, twirl? Clumsy? Yeah. Clumsy is her. Yep, yeah, yep. yeah. Alright, um, uh, Valentine? Yeah, unrequited, holy crap. Dang. Oh, yeah, no, that's definitely her. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. You know what I think this is? It's things that are telling us about what their mm -hmm. their 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 character is. Comfort. Uh, romance. Eh, romance Com probably Yuri, so not that yeah, one. So comfort or family. Uh, comfort or family. Those are both good. Yeah. Hey. All right, nice. Cool. All right. We're we're good. We're good. All okay. right. I'm just gonna make sure we get you all the follows here. Yes. Yes. Uh, we have Velraya, Ciel Cake, Spat God, The Neat Work, and Popo Monsta, and Fluffy Bins. Thank you so much for the follows. Glad to have you here. Mm -hmm. Okay, now, can you right. please, like, do, right. like, a distinctly different Monica voice? Or, at the very least, for Yuri. Hi again, Jaleb. Ooh, sexy. All right, nice, nice. Glad to see you didn't run away on us. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's genuinely creepy. <laughs> Nod, don't worry. This, this might be a little strange for me, but I at least keep my word. Well, I'm back at the literature club. I was the last to come in, so everyone else is already hanging out. Thanks for keeping your promise, Shayla. Oh my gosh. I hope this isn't too overwhelming as a commitment for you. <laughs> Making you dive headfirst into literature when you're not accustomed to it. Hold on, I, I need to check something really quick. I just want to make sure that... Uh desktop audio is coming through just fine okay so it is I'm going to do something really quick cool all right that should be good cool. <clears throat> all right cool oh come on like he deserves any slack Sairi told me you didn't even want to join any clubs this year hmm. and last year too I don't know if you plan to just come here and hang out or what but if you don't take us seriously, then you won't see the end of it. That almost seems like it's talking to us, the audience. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> There's a lot of this that seems to be breaking the... Uh, Natsuki, you certainly have a wall. big mouth for someone who keeps her manga collection in the club room. That was the manga connection. <laughs> Natsuki finds herself stuck between saying Monica and manga. <laughs> manga is literature! Swiftly defeated, Natsuki plops back into her seat. Don't worry, guys. j -Lip always gives it his best as long as he's having fun. He helps me with busy work without me even asking. Aw, like cooking and cleaning my room. How dependable. Sayori, that's because your room is so messy. It's distracting. And you almost set your house on fire once. <laughs> <laughs> is that so? <laughs> you two really are good friends. Aren't you? <clears throat> I might be a little jealous. <laughs> How come? You and Jaleb can become good friends, too. Um... Sayori? Hmm? Uh, uh. As usual, Sayori seems oblivious to the weird situation she just put me into. <laughs> oh, oh! Yuri even brought you something today, you know? Uh, wait, wait S Sayori! Eh? Uh, me? Um... Not really. <laughs> Don't be shy. It's really nothing. What is it? N never mind. Sayori made it sound like a big deal when it's really not. Uh, what do I do? Eh, I'm sorry, Yuri. I, I wasn't thinking. I guess that means it's up to me to rescue this situation. Hey, don't worry about it. <laughs> First of all, I wasn't expecting anything in the first place. Oh my god. So, any nice gesture from you is a pleasant surprise. It will make me happy no matter what. <laughs> is that so? <clears throat> oh, okay. Yeah, I, I won't make it into a big deal if you don't want it to be. All right. Well, here. Yuri reaches into her bag and pulls out a book. I didn't want you to feel left out. Oh, she's giving us a book. So I picked out a book that I thought you might enjoy. Aww. It's a short read, so it should keep your attention, even if you don't usually read. <laughs> <laughs> because we're stupid! <laughs> <laughs> and we could, you know, discuss it if you want. SOS Bros Discussion. This is 
How, how is this girl accidentally being so cute? She even picked out a book she thinks I'll like, despite me not reading much. Yuri, thank you, I'll, I'll definitely read this. I enthusiastically take the book. Phew. Well, you, you can read it at your own pace. Is this talking about this game? Uh, maybe. I look forward to hearing what you think. Now that everyone's settled in, I expect Monica to kick off some scheduled activities for the club. But that doesn't seem to be the case. <clears throat> Sayori and Monica are having a cheery conversation in the corner. <clears throat> Yuri's face is already buried in a book. And I can't help but notice her intense expression like she was waiting for this chance. Meanwhile, Natsuki is rummaging around in the closet. <laughs> Man. It looks like no one wants to be bothered today. I slump down into the nearest desk. How am I supposed to occupy myself with something literature-related by myself like this? And I just don't understand. Yeah. I guess I could always read some of the books Yuri gave me. Or some of the book Yuri gave me. But I'm feeling a little too tired to read. I could probably fall asleep right now. I close my eyes and end up listening in on Sayori's conversation with Monica. Okay. We're probably going to seem really lame compared to all the other clubs, though. Hmm. Well, we can't give up. The festival is our chance to show everyone what literature is all about. The problem is that the idea of a literature club sounds too dense and intellectual. <laughs> Maybe the Yaoi Club or the Fujiyoshi Club. <laughs> but, but it's not, not like, like... Oh, sorry. But it's too. not like that at all, you know? <laughs> we just need a way of showing that to everyone. Something that speaks to their creative minds. How about a video game? <clears throat> hmm. That doesn't solve the problem, though. Eh? What do you mean? Even if we come up with the most fun thing ever, nobody will come in the first place if it's a literature event. So it's more important to figure out how to get people to show up in the first place, you know? And after they come, we can do the thing to speak to their creative minds. What's this? Sayori's taking this really seriously. It's rare to hear her deliber deliberating like this. Hmm, that's a good point. In that case, do you think food will do the trick? What kind? Ah, uh, well, I guess we could. Cupcakes! <laughs> <laughs> and good thinking. <laughs> Natsuki would love to do that. Ah, you're right. Natsuki makes the best cupcakes. That works out perfectly. That... Wasn't why you suggested it? A cupcakes speak to my creative tummy. <laughs> <laughs> cupcakes it is, then. I'm hungry. <laughs> anyway, we still need to work out the details of the event oh itself. Oh my gosh. I find myself smiling. In the event, in the end, Sayori's still her usual self. But therein lies the unexpected reason I admire her. Unlike me, who has trouble finding any motivation at all, Sayori can put her mind to things and make them come to life. Aww. I suppose that's why I end up letting her get on my case about things. I can't help but wonder what it would be like to see the world through her eyes. <gasps> uh! I open my eyes to find Sayori's face filling my vision. I nearly fall out of my chair. Eh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Wait. Actually, I'm not sorry at all. It's your fault for sleeping like that. This isn't the napping club. <laughs> Does our school have a napping club? <laughs> <laughs> you're staying up late again, aren't you? Now that you're in a club, you're going to have less time for anime, you know. <laughs> You'll need to get used to it. Don't say that so loud. <laughs> I glance over my shoulder to see if Monica overheard. <laughs> it's true, though. Yeah. <laughs> I know, I know. You're always looking up for me, Sayori. <laughs> it's what I do best. That's a problem. <laughs> what about you? You look out for me better than you look out for yourself. You're still oversleeping every day, aren't you? Aw. Eh? N not every day. That's not very convincing. How many days this past week have you gotten up on time? Uh, that's, uh... It, it's a secret. <laughs> I knew it. C come on! A 
at least give me the benefit of the doubt. I can't even do that. <laughs> Look, Sayori, it's written all over you. Literally, literally eh? written all over you. Sayori glanced around at herself. How is it written all over me? <laughs> you were clearly in a rush this morning. Look, your hair is sticking out all around here. Huh? I run my fingertips down the side of Sayori's hair, trying to straighten it out. Man, you really need a brush for this. <laughs> my hair is just really hard to get right, you know. I won't fall for that. There's more than just your hair. <laughs> Look, your bow isn't straight either. And there's a toothpaste stain on your collar right here! Wait, is there? I tried to wipe off the stain on my fingertip. Isn't that on her boob? Maybe. But nobody would ever notice that. Of course they would. Nobody's going to tell you about it, because they don't want to embarrass you. Fortunately, I really don't care about that. Hmm. <laughs> you meanie. And you don't even keep your blazer buttoned up. Your boobs aren't that big. Oh my Seriously, God. Sayori. Oh my gosh. Why do you think you don't have a boyfriend yet? Eh? That's super mean. Aw. Sorry, but you'll thank me later. <laughs> I start to button her blazer from the bottom. Once you see how much better it looks, you'll change your mind. Mm, indeed. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> this is so funny. <laughs> what is? Well, I was just thinking how weird it is to have a friend who does these kinds of things. Eh? <laughs> D don't say that. You'll make me feel weird about it, stupid. It's okay, though. I'm happy we're like this. Aren't you? Uh, <laughs> I, I guess. Hey, be careful. The button might come off. Why is this one so hard to close? I struggle to fully close the button near our chest. Of course, <laughs> of course. Uh, does this thing even fit you properly? <laughs> <laughs> it did when I bought it. Sigh. I just say sigh. <laughs> if you ever buttoned it, you would have noticed sooner that it doesn't fit you anymore. What are you smiling about? It means my boobs got bigger again. D don't say that out loud. <laughs> anyway, you look much better now. So, ah, and then the button explodes off. Why does it feel strange to see Sayori's blazer buttoned up like that? But it's so stuffy. Uh, I can barely breathe. It's not worth it at all. She flexes and the buttons come off. Sayori hastily unbuttons her blazer once more. Phew! That's so much better. Sayori puts her arms out and twirls around. So if I keep it unbuttoned, then I won't get a boyfriend, right? What kind of logic is that? And why are you saying that, it, that, like, that like it's a good thing? Because if I had a boyfriend, then he wouldn't even let me let you do things like this. Oh my god! And you take care of me better than anyone else would anyway. Whoa, bro, take the hint. So that's why I'm keeping it unbuttoned. I'm just blushing too. The best. <laughs> Stop saying all these embarrassing things. Oh, eh? I didn't say anything embarrassing. Jeez. Well, anyway, just focus on trying to wake up a little earlier. Only if you focus on going to bed earlier. Fine. Fine. It's a deal. <laughs> I guess we really are better at taking care of each other than we are at taking care of ourselves. Yeah, I guess so. Huh. So maybe you should come wake me up in the morning. Ooh. You're doing it again, Sayori. Aw, oh, but I was joking that time. Man, it's impossible to tell with you sometimes. Okay, everyone. Eh? <laughs> Monica suddenly calls out. Why don't we share the poems we wrote now? Oh, cool. Yay! Jaleb, I can't wait to read yours. Yeah, same. I fail to sound enthusiastic, but Sayori still trots away to receive to retrieve her poem. By the way, did you remember to write a poem last night? Yeah. My relaxation ends. 
I can't believe I agreed to do something so embarrassing. I couldn't really find much inspiration, since I've never really done this before. Well now, that everyone's ready, why don't you find someone to share with? I can't wait! Sayori and Monica enthusiastically pull out their poems. Sayori's is on a wrinkled sheet of loose leaf torn from a spiral notebook. Aww. On the other hand, Monica wrote hers in a composition notebook. Okay. I can already see Monica's pristine handwriting from where I sit. Natsuki and Yuri reluctantly comply as well, reaching into their bags. I do the same myself. Okay. Who should I show my... Okay, who should I show my poem to first? Okay. Sayori, right? Because so that's... Sayori is the uh, the one that we are uh -huh. connecting with the most. So let's right. let's show her first. Yeah. I'm definitely most comfortable sharing it with Sayori first. She's my good friend, after all. Eh. Oh my goodness. This is so good, Jaleb. Huh? I love it. I had no idea you were such a good writer. Sayori, <laughs> you must be seriously overreacting. I I'm think... not a good writer at all. I honestly have no idea what I'm doing. <gasps> well, maybe that's why. Because I have no idea what I like either. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Ah! <laughs> no, no, I'm Sayori. Yeah, yeah. Jeez. I'm sure. sure Yuri's opinion has to be a little more constructive than this. <laughs> Maybe even Natsuki's. <laughs> Are you sure you don't like it just because I wrote it? Eh? Well, I'm sure that's part of it. I think I understand you better than a lot of other people, you know? So when I read your poem, it's not just a poem. It's a Jaleb poem! <laughs> oh god. <laughs> and that makes it feel extra special. Like I can feel your feelings in it. Sayori hugs. hugs the sheets against her chest. You're so weird, Sayori. <laughs> I'm really happy just that you wrote one. It just reminds me of how you're really a part of the club now. Not to mention the fact that I'm standing in front of you in the club room. <laughs> <laughs> well, of course. I'm not really into it yet, but that doesn't mean I'll break my promise. See? It's like I said before, Jaleb. Deep down, you're not selfish at all, you know? Trying new things like this for other people? That's something that only really good people do. Thanks, Sayori. <laughs> I'm not sure if Sayori sees the full picture in my, my motive here. Then no, again... Not at all. I can't deny that she's part of the reason I joined. She is one of the four girls. <laughs> Knowing how much this means to her and all... Yeah. And I'm going to make sure you have lots of fun here, okay? I personally guarantee it. <laughs> that will be my way of thanking you. <laughs> All right. I'm going to hold you to that, then. For... Yay! Now you'll read my poem too, right? Don't worry, I'm really bad at this. <laughs> we'll see about that. Oh, and we actually get to... Actually, get to read it. Okay. Dear sunshine, the way you glow through my blinds in the morning, it makes me feel like you missed me. Kissing my forehead to help me out of bed, making me rub the sleep from my eyes, the sleepy from my eyes. Are you asking me to come out and play? Are you trusting me to wish away a rainy day? I look above, the sky is blue. It's a secret, but I trust you too. If it wasn't for you, I could sleep forever. But I'm not mad. I want breakfast. Oh, that's really cute. But the thing yeah. is, is that's what's really cool is that this is almost like two us like right like, mm -hmm. like it says dear sunshine mm -hmm. but like like yeah. it's almost like we are like the the sunshine you know mm -hmm. and the 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 where is it if it wasn't for you i could sleep forever you know she yeah, sleeps uh -huh. in a lot right so we help her wake up oh mm -hmm. <laughs> i want breakfast <laughs> sayori this is just a guess but did you wait until this morning to write this? No. Just just a little bit. You can't answer just a little bit to a yes or no question. <laughs> I forgot to do it last night. Well, at least that makes me feel a little better about myself. <laughs> Don't be mean. I still tried my best. Ah. 
Yeah. I didn't mean to say that it was a bad poem. It came out nice, or uh, how should I put it? It sounds just like you. <laughs> it does. Really? Yeah. Especially that last line. I made eggs and toast. <laughs> Even though you were late to school. It's bad to skip breakfast. <laughs> I get all cranky. <laughs> well, I guess there's no point in arguing. Anyway, thanks for showing me. <laughs> this was so much fun. Monica's the best. Ah, uh, yeah. But next time, I won't forget. And I'm going to write the best poem ever. Well, I guess I look forward to it. Let's see if we missed any follows and stuff. Oh yeah, lots of lots of follows okay. and stuff. So we have uh, Fluffy Blintz, uh, Jorthrumul, Orangeville, JFX28, Gizarini Inferno 0099, and Corey Ball EW with the follows. Thank you so much. Yes, Welcome. Thank you. Uh, Mongo Mango Foam with a Twitch Prime sub. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. General SC Pat with the 200 bits. Bits for the precious cinnamon roll who needs some breakfast. My heart is melting from the kawaii. This is so kawaii. <laughs> kawaii days. Okay, so we're just choosing basically the order. So who is probably the one we least like? Who? Yuri? Yeah, probably. Maybe okay. Natsuki and Monica are not as defined. Right, let's, let's switch off. That way voices can get breaks. So do you want to do a girl? Yeah. Okay, you go for it then. Let's do uh, Monica or Yuri. Hi, Caleb. <laughs> Having a good time so far? Uh, yeah. Good. Glad to hear it. <laughs> By the way, since you're new and everything, if you ever have any suggestions for the club, like new activities or things we can do better, I'm always listening. Don't be afraid to bring things up, okay? <laughs> uh, all right, I I'll, I'll keep that in mind. Of course, I'll be afraid to bring things up. <laughs> I'm much better off just going with the flow until I'm more settled in. Anyway, want to share your poem with me? It's kind of embarrassing, but I guess I have to. <laughs> Don't worry, Jayla. <laughs> We're all a little embarrassed today. This know. voice is wigging me out so hard. But it's that sort of barrier we'll all learn to get past soon. Yeah, that's true. I hand Monica my poem. <laughs> I like this one. It makes me think of something Sayori would like. Is that so? You and Sayori are really good friends, right? I wouldn't be surprised if you had those sorts of things in common. Uh, well... God, Jacob. <laughs> we may be good friends, but Sayori and I are actually really different. Hmm. Well, that may be the case. Maybe Why? there are also some similarities that you wouldn't expect. The way she talks about you. Hmm. It sounds like the two of you really care about each other's well-being. Okay. <laughs> Even if you show it in different ways, it ends up being more similar than you'd think. She's so I smart. Think that's the kind of vibe I get when reading your poem. Hmm. You sure you're not reading into it too much? <laughs> <laughs> I could be. Oh gosh. I sound like Yuri. But in any case, Sayori's writing has a kind of gentle feel to it. Okay. I can tell that she likes exploring with emotions like happiness and sadness. Who knew that someone so happy would enjoy sad things, too? Yeah, that's totally unexpected. Well, to each their own. And you shouldn't be afraid to experiment a little bit, either. I'm sure I'll end up trying different things a lot. It could take a while before I feel comfortable doing this. That's okay. I'd love to see you try new things. Guys, you are making it way creepier than it is. Like, what the heck? <laughs> <laughs> That's the best way to find the kind of style that suits you. 
Everyone else may be a little bit biased toward their own kinds of styles. Oh my god. But I'll always help you find what suits you the most. So don't force yourself to write the way everyone else wants you to write. Uh. It's not like you have to worry about impressing them or anything. <laughs> ha ha ha. <laughs> anyway, do you want to read my poem now? Don't worry, I'm not very good. It's the same thing that Sayori said. You sound pretty confident for someone who claims to not be very good. Yeah. Well, that's because I have to sound confident. It doesn't mean I always feel that way, you know? Okay, I see. Well, let's read it then. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Whoa. Hole in wall. <clears throat> it couldn't have been me. See the direction the spackle protrudes. A noisy neighbor? An angry boyfriend? I'll never know. I wasn't home. I peer inside for a clue. No, I can't see. I reel, blind, like a film left out in the sun. But it's too late. My retinas. Already scorched with a permanent copy of the meaningless image. It's just a little hole. It wasn't too bright. It was too deep. Stretching forever into everything. A hole of infinite choices. I realize now that I wasn't looking in. Scroll down. Yeah. I was looking out. And he on the other side was looking in. Scroll in, scroll down. That's, that's, that's it. it. Yep. Whoa. Hmm. Dang. Dang, yeah. Anything you want to analyze about this? Um. It's a lot about vision mm -hmm. and perspective. The whole of infinite choices thing seems a bit meta. Yeah. And the, the direction of the spackle, mm -hmm. that almost made me think like some sort of like knife stab or something. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, what do you think? Hmm, it's very freeform, if that's what you call it. I'm trying to use big words. Sorry, I'm not really the right person to ask for feedback. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, that kind of style's gotten pretty popular nowadays. Hmm. That is, a lot of poems have been putting emphasis on the timing between words and lines. Mm. When performed out loud, it can be really powerful. What was the inspiration behind this one? Ah, uh, well, I'm not sure if I know how to put it. I guess you could say that I had some kind of epiphany recently. It's been influencing my poems a bit. An epiphany? Yeah. Something like that. I'm kind of nervous to talk about deep stuff like that because it's kind of coming on strongly. Maybe after everyone is better friends with each other. Anyway. Here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Okay. Sometimes when you're writing a poem or a story, your brain gets too fixated on a specific point. If you try so hard to make it perfect, then you'll never make any progress. Just force yourself to get something down on the paper and tidy it up later. It is actually that's actually good, a very, very, very good, good writing advice. Tip. Wow, Monica is very smart. Another way to think about it is this: if you keep your pen in the same spot for too long, you just get a big, dark puddle of ink. So just move your hand and go with the flow. That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. <laughs> Okay, she likes to talk. Um, a stew Natsuki. I get kind of the creepy vibe from from Yuri. Huh? Well, it's about what I expected from someone like you. <laughs> That's a little blunt. Well, excuse me. It's not like I said it was bad. It just didn't evoke any emotions. So basically, it's not cute enough for your taste. Do you want to get smacked? Oh, pass. Huh. Well, anyway, I guess I need to show you mine. Not that you'll like it. Whoa. Oh, this is good. I love it. Eagles can fly. Monkeys can climb. Crickets oh. can leap. Horses can race. Owls can seek. Cheetahs wow. can run. Eagles can fly. People can try, but that's about it. 
Oh, wow. that's, that's really, really good. That's really good. That's really good. Oh, mm, okay. dang. Wow. Okay, I'm getting the vibe that each of them, like this is kind of the, the harem thing where like each one of them has their own thing, their own uh -huh. like thing. Their and own we've issue got, kind of Yeah, thing. we've got to choose like who to help, who to right. romance, mm -hmm. who to kind of yeah. essentially get close to. Mm -hmm. But by essentially helping someone, we're kind of going to be less helping other people. Right. And this is like the first look into their, their psyche and stuff. Sure. Okay. Oh, that's really good. Yeah. I told you that you weren't going to like it. I like it. <laughs> what? Just be honest. I am. Why are you so convinced that I wouldn't like it? Well, because everyone in high school thinks that writing has to be all sophisticated and stuff. So people don't even take my writing seriously. But isn't the point of poems for people to express themselves? Your writing style wouldn't make your message any less valid. Yes, exactly. I like when it's easy to read, but it hits you hard. Like in this poem. Seeing everyone around you do great things can be really disheartening. Whoa. Yeah. Mm. So I decided to write about it. Yeah. Oof. I understand. But the other nice thing about simple writing is that it puts more weight on the wordplay. Oh, it does very indeed. smart. Like I set up for a rhyme at the end, but then I made it fall flat on purpose. It helps bring out the feeling in the last line. It really does. Yeah. So you did. I guess more went into it than I realized. That's what it means to be a pro. I'm glad you learned something. <laughs> Didn't expect that from the youngest one here, did you? Yeah. I guess not. She's got the little tooth thing going uh -huh. on. I decided to humor her with that last comment. Mm -hmm. I don't really care how old everyone <laughs> is, but if Natsuki is feeling proud, then I won't take that away from her. No. Oh, I guess we have to show. Who should I show my poem to next? Hmm. Not Yuri. Don't even <laughs> show it to Yuri. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> hmm. Oh my god. You're up. Oh, Yuri stares at the poem. A minute passes. More than enough time for her to finish reading. She's rereading and analyzing. Um. Oh. S sorry. I forgot to start speaking. <laughs> um. It's fine. Don't force yourself. I I'm not. I just need to put my thoughts into words. Hold on. Okay. This is your. First time writing a poem, right? Uh, yeah. Why do you ask? I'm just making sure. I guess that it might be after reading through it. Ah, so it's that bad. No. Uh, did I just raise my voice? <laughs> uh, I'm so sorry. Yuri buries her face in her hands. I couldn't help but notice that it's been several minutes, and we really haven't gotten anywhere. <laughs> might take Yuri a while to get used to new people. It's fine, I, I really didn't notice. What were you saying? R right, um... It's just that there are specific writing habits that are usually typical of new writers. <laughs> yes, there are. And having been through that myself, I kind of learned to pick up on them. <laughs> I think the most noticeable thing I recognize in new writers is that they try to make their style very deliberate. Mm. In other words, they tend to pick a writing style separate from the topic matter, and they form fit the two together. The end result is that both the style and the expressiveness are weakened. When Siri finds her train of thought, it's as if her demeanor totally changes. Her stammering is completely gone, and she sounds like an expert. Of course, that's not something that you can really be blamed for. There are so many different skills and techniques that go into writing even a simple poem. Not just finding them and building them, but getting them to work together is probably the most challenging part. I m it might take you some time, but it all comes with practice and learning by example and trying new things. I also hope that everyone else in the club gives you valuable feedback. Natsuki can be a little bit biased, though. <laughs> biased? How? Uh, um... Well, never mind. <laughs> I shouldn't be talking about people like that. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> it's fine. 
I'm not sure if Yuri is apologizing to herself, to me, or to Natsuki. All three. <laughs> do you mind if I read your poem now? Please do. I'd love to share my thought process behind it. Yuri smiles dreamily, as if that's a rare opportunity for her. Hmm. Which itself is kind of funny. After all, isn't this supposed to be a literature club? Oh, that question? Yeah. Yeah. Ghost under the light. The tendrils of my hair illuminate beneath the amber glow, bathing. It must be this one, the last remaining streetlight to have withstood the test of time. The last yet to be replaced by the sickening blue-green hue of the future. I bathe, calm, breathing air of the present but living in the past. The light flickers. I flicker back. Okay. All right. So maybe some... Maybe some, like, worry about the future. Right. Some kind of fear. She's shy, so she's probably in a constant state of anxiety or something like that. So Lack of attachment? Lack of attachment. Something bad that happened a while ago. Yeah. Hmm. I'm guessing that if any of them are, you know, in some kind of, like, anxious, you know, kind of depressed state, it would be her. Probably. Yeah. Or maybe the one that's the most chipper and cheery because, you know... Right. It's usually the, the ones that shine the brightest that are actually yeah. burning out the fastest. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, I'm sorry, I have such terrible handwriting. What? I wasn't thinking that at all. But it took you a long time to read. Uh, well, I just don't read script very often. I, I actually think your handwriting is pretty. Huh? That's a relief. Also, I, I like the poem. Even though it's short, it was really descriptive. It wasn't too short? I usually write longer poems. Not at all. I'm this music is really, really like, glad you like soothing. It. I'll be honest. Since it's our first time sharing, I wanted to write something a little more mild. Gotcha. Something easy to digest, I suppose. Are you into ghosts, Yuri? <laughs> Actually, the story isn't about a ghost at all, Jalen. Really? I must have totally missed the point. Well, I suppose you did only glance over it after all. Oh, oof. Your reading to comprehension be fair, you have to have sucks. a very high, high IQ to understand the poetry. Ah, <laughs> uh, yep. <laughs> but remember that poets often express their own thoughts, feelings, and experiences in their work. They usually do more than tell a simple story or paint a picture. Mm. In Separating. this case, perhaps the subject of the poem is only being symbolically compared to a ghost. Separating the poem from herself, too. Yeah. Lingering in her last remaining place of comfort, unable to let go of the past. Mm. And soon to be left with nothing. Dang. That's a lot more solemn, putting it that way. I hadn't even thought of that. That's impressive. It's nothing, really. Well, it makes me happy that you think that. Just remember that it won't be long before you pick up on these things, too. Yeah, maybe you're right. I, I guess I'll have to keep trying. I'm counting on you. Okay. Dang, let's uh, check subs yeah. and things again. Uh, Z-Man 9000 with the follow. Omaru 2017 with the follow. Featherin 123 with the follow. And Squidisha 20 with the follow. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Daiki with the two tier one subs gifted to Nahua 156 and Short Kirby. Ah, oh, Daiki, you're awesome. you're awesome. Thank you. What oh. the heck? That's great. Ah. Uh, okay. <laughs> people are liking that we like that. Caleb with okay, that cool. Jacob with that deep ass voice though, like he's trying to seduce us. <laughs> I know, what the heck? <laughs> Alright. Alright, let's let's go to the next right. thing. Yep. Let's no no, let's let's just keep going. Phew. I guess that's everyone. I glance around the room. That was a little more stressful than I anticipated. <laughs> it's as if everyone is judging me for my mediocre writing abilities. Even if they're just being nice, there's no way my poems can stand up to theirs. Of course, of course. This is a literature club, after all. Mm -hmm. I sigh. <sighs> I guess that's what I ended up getting myself into. Across the room, Sayori and Monica are happily chatting. My eyes land on Yuri and Natsuki. They gingerly exchange sheets of paper, sharing their respective poems. As they read in tandem, I watch each of their expressions change. Natsuki's eyebrows furrow in frustration. Meanwhile, Yuri smiles sadly. 
Hmm. Hmm. What's with this language? Eh? Eh? Oh, sorry. Um, did you say something? Oh, it's nothing. Natsuki dismissively returns the poem to the desk with one hand. I guess you could say it's fancy. <laughs> Thanks. Yours is cute. Oh, that's her trigger. Cute? Did you completely miss the symbolism or something? It's clearly about the feeling of giving up. How can that be cute? I, I know that. It, I just meant the language, I guess. I was trying to say something nice. Eh? You mean you have to try that hard to come up with something nice to say? Thanks, but it really didn't come out nice at all. Um, well, I, I do have a couple suggestions. Hmm. If I was looking for suggestions, I would have asked someone who actually liked it. Which people did, by the way. Sayori liked it. And Jaleb did too. So based on that, I'll gladly give you some suggestions of my own. Ooh. First of all... Excuse me. I, I appreciate the offer, but I've spent a long time establishing my writing style. I don't expect it to change anytime soon, unless of course I come across something particularly inspiring. Oh, here we which go. Which I haven't yet. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and Jaleb liked my poem too, you know. Oh my gosh. He even told me he was impressed by it. Natsuki suddenly stands up. Oh no. Oh. The music stops. Yeah, the music stopped. I didn't realize you were so invested in trying to impress our new member, Yuri. Eh? Uh, oh. That's not what I... Uh, you, you're just... Yuri stands up as well. Maybe you're just jealous that Jaleb appreciates my advice more than he appreciated yours. Oh, no! Huh? And how do you know he didn't appreciate my advice more? They're gonna make us choose, aren't they? Are you that full of yourself? I... No. If I was full of myself, I would deliberately go out of my way to make everything I do overly cutesy. Oh! Oh! Um, uh... Is everyone okay? Well, you know what? I wasn't the one whose boobs magically grew a size bigger as soon as Jaleb started showing up. Natsuki! Ah. Uh, oh, dear. Um, um, Natsuki. That's a little... This doesn't, this doesn't involve, involve you! <laughs> I don't like fighting, guys! Suddenly, both girls turned towards me as if they just noticed I was standing there. Caleb, she's, she's just trying to make me look bad. That's not true. She started it. If she could get over herself and learn to appreciate that simple writing is more effective, oh, then this wouldn't have happened in the first place. What's the point in making your poems all convoluted for no reason? The meaning should jump out at the reader, not force them to have to figure it out. Help me explain that to her, Jaleb. But wait, there's a reason we have so many deep and expressive words in our language. It's the only way to convey complex feelings and meaning the most effectively. Avoiding, the, avoiding them is not only unnecessarily limiting yourself, it's also a waste. They're both kind of right. right. You understand that, right, Jayla? They're both kind of right. Um, well, well uh, uh, how did I get dragged into this in the first place? It's not like I know anything about writing. I mean, we, we kind of do. But whomever I agree with, they'll probably think more highly of me. Ah! 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 They even gave us a third option. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. 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 Right, we can right. be cowards and pick the third option. But, but I, think, I actually, think we should do that. But the thing is, is that the third option fits with what we were originally doing, which is yes. trying to get closer to Sayori. Like, sure. Like, here's the thing. Or do we want chaos theory and to not just go after one of them? Uh, okay, okay, here's the thing. Here's the thing. We don't know if this is the kind of thing where, like... Like, what, what I think it is is that it's basically, like, we're going to open up a conversation option, whichever one of these we do. Like, it doesn't really matter. Right. It's just yes. there's going to be a conversation option. But uh -huh. the thing is is that we don't know if this is a cumulative thing. It where, probably is. Where if, we, where if the choices in previous things are relevant to mm -hmm. this choice here. Right. In that respect, I think then that 
I would kind of want to pick the third choice, actually. Uh, live a little. Okay, okay. Like Then I, I gotta go with my simple girl, Natsuki. The thing okay, rock, paper, scissors. Rock, Natsuki paper, scissors. Two okay. out of three. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on. So If I win twice, though, I get to go for a Sayori. Like twice in a row? If I win two, two out of threes. Oh, okay, got so, so one, it's double or three. nothing if you win. Yeah, yeah, double okay. or nothing if I win. All okay. Right. But Yes. All right. Okay. So That took a long time. I want to do double or nothing. Okay. And go all the way for 3. So best So, so three if I now. win this time, then it's Yuri. Then it's Yuri. Yeah. Okay. Dang it. Ah! Okay. Ah! Dang it. <laughs> uh, Natsuki. Oh boy, here oh, we go. Here we go. You're right that I liked your poem. See? Wait. That's not an excuse for you to be so mean. You shouldn't pick a fight just because someone's opinion is different. That's a good point. That's not what happened at all. Yuri wouldn't even take my poem seriously. Hmm. I, I understand. understand. Oh, okay, yeah. Yuri. <laughs> eh? You're a seriously talented writer. It's no secret that I was impressed. Well, that's... <laughs> but here's the thing. No matter how simple or refined someone's writing style is, they're still putting feelings into it, and it becomes something really personal. That's why Natsuki felt threatened when you said her poem was cute. I... See, I didn't notice that. I. Oh, we're, I we're I'm being sorry. Really diplomatic about this, actually. Yeah, like doing a pretty good job. Yeah. Uh. But Natsuki. Oh wait, but Natsuki, you took it way too far. Yuri means well, and if you just told her how you felt, then this wouldn't have happened in the first place. Are you kidding? That's exactly what I did. It was her that. Natsuki, I think that's enough. You both said some things you didn't mean. Yuri apologized. Don't you think you should too? Mm. Natsuki clenches her fists. In the end, nobody has taken her side. She's trapped, at this point being defiant only because she can't handle the pressure. I end up even feeling bad for her. Um, um, sometimes when I'm hurt... It helps to take a walk and clear my head. Sorry, she doesn't need to. You know what? I'm going to do that. It'll spare me from having to look at all your faces right now. Without warning, Natsuki snatches her own poem up from the desk and storms out. Ooh. On her way out, she crumples up the poem with her hands and throws it in the trash. Oh, Natsuki. She really didn't need to do that. I look across the room. Yuri has her chin buried in her hands while she stares down at her desk. I gingerly approach her and sit in an adjacent chair. Sigh. <laughs> Everything all right? I'm so embarrassed. I can't believe I acted like that. You probably hate me now. No, Yuri. How could anyone not have gotten frustrated after being treated like that? You handled it as well as anyone could. I don't think any less of you. Well, all right, I believe you. Thanks, Jaleb. You're too kind. I'm thankful to have you a part of this club now. Uh, it's, it's nothing. One more thing. Um, that one thing that Natsuki said about, you know... I would never do anything so shameful. So... Eh? What thing did Natsuki say? Uh, uh, um... Well, never mind that. The funny thing is that I I'm think... I'm going to go make some tea. The funny thing is I think she did, though. Yeah. Uh -huh. She did. Like, I noticed a little bit, yeah. and I was like, am I weird for noticing? I probably shouldn't... Yeah. Ah, uh, good idea. Make enough for more than one person, okay? Yeah. 
Okay, everyone. <laughs> it's just about time for us to leave. How did you all feel about sharing poems? It was a lot of fun. Well, I, I'd say it was worth it. It was all right. Well, mostly. Jalen, how about you? God, that voice. <laughs> yeah, I'd say the same. It was a neat thing to talk about with everyone. Awesome. In that case, we'll do the same thing tomorrow. Okay, cool. And maybe you learned something from your friends, too. So your poems will turn out even better. Uh, I think to myself, I did learn a little more about the kinds of poems everyone likes. With any luck, that means I can at least do a better job impressing those I want to impress. Wow, we're... Yeah, it's very obvious now. I nod to myself with newfound determination. <laughs> Jaylub! Ready to walk home? Sure, let's go. Sorry, you can go. <laughs> Sayori beams at me. It truly has been a while since Sayori and I have spent this much time together. I can't really say I'm not enjoying it either. Sayori. About what happened earlier. Eh? What do you mean? You know, between Yuri and Natsuki. Does that kind of thing happen often? No, no, no. That's really the first time I've seen them fight like that. I, I promise they're both wonderful people. You don't, you don't hate them, do you? No, I don't hate them. I just wanted your opinion. That's all. I can see why they'd make good friends with you. Phew. You know, j -Lub, it's nice that I get to spend time with you in the club. But I think seeing you get along with everyone is what makes me the happiest. And Aww. I think everyone really likes you, too. That's... <laughs> Every day is going to be so much fun. Sigh. <laughs> looks like Sayori still hasn't caught on to the kind of situation I'm in. <laughs> sure, being friends with everyone is nice, but mm -hmm. does it really need to stop there? Oh, we'll just have to see what the future holds, Sayori. I pat Sayori on the shoulder. I said that more to myself than to her, but it's easy to use Sayori as an internal monologue <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Let's do this. Awesome. Okay, so all right, rip Natsuki basically. Mm -hmm. Let's uh, check everything here. We've got uh, Fat Astard, <laughs> Diab, and Alface, and True Roman Nero. Thank you so much for the follows. Yes, Glad to you. have you here. FYI, for those of you that use Twitch Prime and or your sub to uh, sub to us, you get access to our Discord. If you right. go to the sub room, uh, there's a link in there. Automatically gets you an invite to that. Uh, just make sure to sync up your Twitch and uh, uh, Discord accounts so you get the purple uh, Twitch sub roll. Oh, you have that there, yeah. All right, cool. <laughs> <laughs> Top 10 anime battles. <laughs> Hyperclap. They're really brothers. Yep, <laughs> yeah, resolving things with rock, paper, scissors. That side by side with the rock, paper, scissors episode from regular show. Yeah. I would have uh, wait. Judge <laughs> Anken. <laughs> Ultra Instinct. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> All right. Press F for Natsuki. <laughs> Thank God he is being diplomatic. Yeah, Boys really to is. men, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Ultra. You guys are hilarious. All right, All right. let's let's so, pick some uh, stuff oh to go boy. with Sayori. I think I think we I think we should double down on Sayori since we did it the first okay. time. Um, now we don't want cute, but no she... no 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 Sayori. Not no no Natsuki. I know. So, so we don't want so we don't want cute, but it, that's but they close. said right. But they said the thing is with hers with emotions with sadness and happiness. Cool. So, so bust. So no, no. Cry. So giggle is perfect. Like okay. Uh, what? See, it's cute. It's too cute. Where was cute? Cute no, was on no, there. No, it's that. Natsuki oh. is the cute one. So giggle that can be considered. Gotcha. Cute, right. Okay. So then maybe. Uh, hope. Uh, hope. Sure. Yeah. There you go. Um. Let's Lazy. go. Yes. There you go. Nice. Uh, no, 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 that's way too much. I would say that would go to... Um, yeah, that would, that would totally go to Yuri, probably. Um, comfort? Comfort, yeah. Nice. Uh, bed. Yes. Yep. 
Of course she would love that. Uh, sparkle? No, that's cute, I guess. Um, Heaven sent? No, that's, no, no, that's no. too big of a word. Uh, let's do... Romance? Let's do... Let's do sparkle. I think that... No, no, no. That, that would that's be... Cute. That's cute. Yeah. Romance, uh, romance cause, seems cause, like it would be Yuri. But it's unrequited love is the thing. Okay, so. sure, sure. Yes. Hey, you're good, uh -huh. you're good. Um, let's go... Flower? Flower, yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, you're really good at this. Uh, cheer. Yeah. Wait, no, childhood. She's childhood, a childhood yes. friend. Yeah. Yes, there you go. Um, um, ooh, these are actually pretty complicated ooh. here. Uh, wonderful? Clouds. Or... I would do wonderful. Okay, yeah. 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 Um. Together. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, we're good at this. All right. Um, uh, hop. Yeah. Ah, oh, dang it. Okay. Um, um. Calm. Peaceful. All of those oh, are peaceful, fine. Peaceful. Yeah. 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 Um, silly. Silly. Yes, definitely. Yeah. All the other ones. Yeah. Sadness. Well, yeah, sadness. Sadness. Or would poof? Well, no, but remember, they were saying that there's that, yeah, there's the yeah, mix uh -huh. of the two. Right. So, uh, family. Feather? Family. Oh, oh, uh, I think we've done family and it got to her before. So should we change it up just for fun? No, 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 no. no. Let's, let's be consistent. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, fluffy? No. Uh, boop. Boop, yes. Or heart. Heart, yes, heart. Yeah. Oh, uh, marriage. <laughs> marriage. That sounds like something that'd be more complicated. Uh, you want to try it? Just, just yeah. kick. Yeah, let's do it. Hey. Oh my god, you're right. Because I wonder if the the extremity of the word also changes things. You know? Sure. Uh, um, warm. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, uh, these two are getting closer together. Oh and away. dang. Yeah. Unrequited. Yeah. Yeah. And probably socks. <laughs> yes. Oh, oh. Oh wait, we did socks last time. And That's right. Yeah. Time. Whoops. Oh, this is fun. We're having a lot of fun here. Uh, uh, Vitry and Wakashirami, thank you so much for the follows. Glad yes. to have you here. All right. Another day. Pa oh, wait. oh yeah. I've gotten a little more comfortable here over the past couple of days. Entering the club room, the usual scene greets me. <laughs> Hi, J Love. Yo, Sayori. Oh my god. Looks like you're in a good mood today. Hey, <laughs> I'm just still not used to you being in the club, that's all. I see. That's a pretty simple thing to get you in a good mood. But I guess it's always the simple things with you anyway. Aw. Speaking of which, I'm kinda hungry. <laughs> Will you come with me to buy a snack? <gasps> no thanks. Eh? That's not like you at all. I have my reasons. Why don't we go with... Oh, why don't we go... Why don't we take a look at your purse, Sayori? Wait, what? Eh? Why that, all of a sudden? Uh, you don't have any money, do you? Oh, gotcha. Uh, no reason, really. I just wanted to look at it. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Sayori nervously retrieves her coin purse. <laughs> she fumbles with the latch and gets it open. Then she turns it upside down and lets its contents spill out onto the desk. Only two small coins <laughs> fall out. <laughs> <laughs> I, knew I knew it. <laughs> I can see right through you, Sayori. Nice. That's not fair. How did you even know? It's simple. If you had enough money in the first place, you would have bought a snack before coming to the classroom. <sighs> the club room. Yes. So either you're not hungry, which is preposterous, and wanted an excuse to take a walk, mm. or... You plan to conveniently forget that you spent all your money, so I would lend you some. We are so smart. But there's one more thing. The hair on your head is off by two millimeters. You're always hungry. <laughs> yes, that's true. And so, that only leaves one option. Ah, I give up. Don't make me feel guilty. If you feel guilty, that means you deserve to feel guilty. I mean... <laughs> Yuri suddenly giggles. Eh? I didn't notice that she was listening in. Her face is in her book, as always. Uh, uh, I, I wasn't listening or anything. It was just uh, something in my book. 
Mercury! Tell Jaleb to let me borrow some money. That's... Don't get me involved like that, Sayori. <laughs> Besides, you should only buy what you can responsibly afford. And frankly, after pulling a mischievous little stunt like that, your suffering is fair enough retribution. <laughs> <gasps> Did I just... I, I didn't mean that. I got too absorbed in my book. Yeah, Yuri occasionally, like, just blurts out some stuff. <laughs> I really like when you speak your mind, Yuri. It doesn't happen much, but it's a fun side of you. That's... There's no way you could think that. Hmm. You were right, though. I did something bad, and now I have to accept the revolution. <laughs> <laughs> Retribution. <laughs> <laughs> that, yeah. Still... Coming from you, Sayori. I guess there's a little del. <laughs> I guess there's a little devil inside all of us, isn't there? Okay, okay. Hold up. Pause. <laughs> pause a second. Yeah, uh -huh. I, I'm getting the vibe that each girl is basically like crazy. Well, not that they're crazy, but that they all have something, all right. something off about them. Something Just off. A bit. And mm -hmm. and and the thing is, is that this is a horror. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh-huh. This is all the build-up. Yeah. This is all the build-up, uh -huh. then. Right. Like... Yeah, yep. Like, we have to be paying attention to these little things. <laughs> Don't let her fool you. Sayori knows exactly what she's doing. After all, she told you guys she was bringing me to the club before she even told me. But, but, but you wouldn't have come if it weren't for the cupcakes. So I had to trick Natsuki into making them. Come, come on. on. Give me more credit than that, Sayori. <laughs> Out of nowhere, something smacks Sayori in the face and tumbles onto the desk. What the heck? Ow! What was... Eh? A, a cookie! Sure enough, it's a giant cookie wrapped in plastic. Sayori glances around. I is this a miracle? <laughs> it's because I paid my restitution! <laughs> <laughs> Retribution. Actually, uh, that one almost worked. Ah ha ha! I was just gonna give it to you. But then I heard you blab about the cupcakes. It was totally worth seeing your reaction, though. Ha <laughs> ha! Natsuki! That's so nice of you! I'm so happy! Sayori hugs the cookie. Jeez, just eat it. Sayori rapidly tears open the wrapper and takes a big bite. So good. Mm. Sayori suddenly clasps her hands over her mouth. I bit my tongue. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> You're going through a lot over just one cookie. <laughs> Natsuki takes a bite of her own cookie. Oh, yours looks really good too, Natsuki. Can I try it? Jeez. Beggars can't be choosers. But yours is chocolate. Yeah, why do you think I gave you that one? <laughs> Fine. Still, I'm really happy that you shared this one with me. <laughs> Sayori gets out of her seat and goes behind Natsuki, then wraps her arms around her. Aw, oh, jeez. I get it, I get it. Cookie still in hand, Natsuki reaches up to nudge Sayori off her. <laughs> oh. Sayori suddenly leans down and takes a bite out of Natsuki's cookie. <gasps> Oh, hey! Did you seriously just do that? Oh. Mouthful. Sayori trots away to safety. <laughs> Yuri and I laugh as well. <laughs> Jeez, you're such a kid sometimes. Monica, can you tell Sayori? Eh? Natsuki glances around. Monica isn't in the club room. Oh, ugh. Where is Monica anyway? Good question. Have any of you heard anything about her being late today? Not me. Yeah, I haven't either. Hmm. That's a bit unusual. Yeah. I hope she's okay. Of course she's okay. She probably just had something to do today. She's pretty popular after all. Eh? Y you don't think she... She, she has a... <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. She's probably more desirable than all of us combined. 
<laughs> That's true. <laughs> Excuse me? Oh my gosh. Suddenly, the door swings open. Speak of the devil? Sorry. I'm super sorry. Oh. Oh, there you are. I didn't mean to be late. I hope you guys weren't worried or anything. Eh? Monica chose the club over her boyfriend after all? You're so strong-willed! But... boyfriend? What on earth are you talking about? Yeah, none of these girls have boyfriends. They're all single for us. Exactly. That's the point. Monica quizzically glances at me. Ah, uh, never mind that. What held you up anyway? Ah... Uh, well... My last period today was study hall. To be honest, I kind of just lost track of time. <laughs> that makes no sense, though. You would have heard the bell ring, at least. I must not have heard it since I was practicing the piano. Mm, you played the piano. Piano? I wasn't aware you played music as well, Monica. Uh, I don't really. I kind of just started recently. Oh. I've always wanted to learn piano. I have too. That's so cool! You should play something for us, Monica. That's... Monica looks at me. Maybe once I get a bit better, I will. Each of these girls is trying to improve to impress us, too. <laughs> Yay! That sounds cool. I'd also look forward to it. Is that so? <laughs> In that case... Oh my gosh. I won't let you down, Jim. <sighs> Monica smiles sweetly. Ah... Uh. I didn't mean any pressure or anything like that. <laughs> Don't worry. I've been practicing a whole lot recently. You can take all their dialogue out of context, <laughs> and it would be very, like, creepy and, like, certain... Ugh. And I'd really love the chance to share once I'm ready. God, I see. In that case, best of luck. Thanks. So, I... Didn't miss anything, did I? Uh, n not really. I choose to leave out of I chose to leave out Sayori's mischievous escapade. I'm sure Natsuki will end up complaining to her anyway. It looks like everyone has already settled down. Sayori somehow already finished her entire cookie. Ugh, reprehensible behavior. Yuri is back to her book, and Natsuki disappeared into the closet. Into the closet. Okay. Jaleb, Jaleb! Sayori suddenly comes up to me. I'm gonna go get some supplies from another classroom. Wanna come with me? Supplies? What for? Well, you know how the festival is coming up. Me and Monica were gonna make some posters and stuff. So I need to go find some crayons and markers and glue sticks. Oh, I see. Sure, I'll go with you. Yay! Okay, Monica, we'll be back soon. Oh. Are you going with Jaleb uh, to get the supplies? There's no need to trouble yourself. Oh. I'd be happy to go with him. Oh. Aw, oh, but I wanted to go. It's so much fun exploring empty classrooms and stuff. <laughs> okay, okay. A little bit of, a little bit of jealousy yeah, just a back suggestion. and forth there, you know? Yeah. Mm. See if you can find poster paper, too. Okay. Okay. Ready, Jaleb? Yep. Let's go. Sayori and I exit the club room. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, you can go for this. I follow behind as Sayori hums and skips about mm -hmm. around the hallway. Mm -hmm. Honestly. Mm -hmm. It feels like I'm taking a kid to the mall or something. Mm -hmm. Sayori finds pleasure in the simplest mm -hmm. things sometimes. Mm -hmm. Hey, Sayori. Mm -hmm. Hmm? What exactly are we doing for the festival anyway? I'm not sure how you would make an event out of literature. <laughs> Me and Monica have it all planned out. Don't you worry. Is that so? Yup. We're gonna do a poetry performance. A performance? Of what kind? The bard kind. <laughs> well, everyone is gonna take turns on stage and recite their favorite poems. Oh, that sounds kind of dull. <laughs> J-Love, 
you're not thinking about it the right way at all. It's not just about reading poems. It's about performing them. Oh, is that how the horror is going to come into this? Yeah, I'm thinking so, yeah. Like, you say the lines of the poem, like, Between my feet, the last remaining flower beckons to me. I twist the stem, freeing it from its clinging roots, caressing the final joyous moment between my fingers. Except it's actually someone's head. Yeah, yeah. But to what ends have I summoned this joy? For now, when I look in every direction, the once prosperous field before me is but a barren wasteland. Eh, like that. (laughs) Sayori, how do I put this? I'm sure it's just me, but it's impossible for me to take you seriously when you talk like that. (laughs) Eh? You meanie. I'm working super hard on this, you know. Uh, I know. I know. I just meant that it's a pretty unordinary contrast to your cute self. Mm. Ah, don't say that. It's embarrassing. But I guess that means I'm doing a good job. Yeah, I guess so. Ah, I'm so excited. The festival is going to be so much fun. Sayori spins herself around in the hallway again. Spin. (laughs) Hey, j this classroom over here is empty. Let's begin the mission. The mission, eh? It's been a long time since I've spent time with Sayori like this. But in the end, she hasn't changed one bit. She's nothing but a ball of sunshine, drawing happy vibes from the world around her. It's a pretty nostalgic feeling for me. As the years went by, I began to hold myself up in my room more and more. Dang, that's so going adventuring with Sayori brings about a special sort of feeling I forgot I had in me. Aww. The two of us enter the classroom. Sayori heads straight to the closet, and I follow. Oh my. Let's see what we have in here. Crayons! Sayori pulls a box full of crayons off the shelf. They're the best brand, too. They're kind of dirty, though. Does she eat the crayons? Is that why she knows they're the best brand? (laughs) I don't know. Sayori starts pulling various crayons out of the box, reading the color names. Oh, yes, slap on Titan all over again. All right, that's one down. Don't get distracted. We still need to find... Wait, I'm looking for my favorite color. Fine, fine. Then at least move aside so I can look for the poster paper. Ah, I dropped one by accident. Smack. Yeah. Sayori bends over and smacks her forehead right into the shelf. She falls to the floor, and the crayons spill all over her lap. Ow, 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 ow. You okay? Let me help you pick those up. <laughs> yeah. My forehead, ow. Sayori clutches her forehead. Jeez, Sayori. That's just like you, isn't it? Come on, let me see. Since Sayori is sitting on the floor, I grab her by the waist and pull her out of the closet. You have to move your hands, Sayori. But it hurts. Just do it for a second. Sayori slowly releases her hands from her forehead. I gently brush her bangs to the side. Oh my. Ow! Sorry. I'll be gentle. There's a huge red mark on the center of her forehead. Aw. A bump is starting to form as well. Ow. Man, that's gonna swell up. I should find you some ice. Caleb. Where would I even find ice around this time? (laughs) Ah, I guess a cold drink would do. You don't have to. I'm fine with looking like a unicorn. (laughs) Even Vincent from the pain. Sayori makes a silly joke. Yep. Ahaha. Uh, what are you saying? I'll be right back, okay? Uh, okay. I pat Sayori on the shoulder and run out into the hallway. Hmm. I locate the nearest vetting machine. What should I get? It doesn't really matter, since it will be used up as an ice pack, rather than to drink. Hmm. Nice. But I know Sayori likes apple juice, so I purchased that one. Brilliant. In just a moment, I am already returning to the classroom where I left Sayori. She has one palm on her forehead and is using the other hand to clumsily scoop crayons back Aww, into the box. Oh, this track. This is so sweet. Mm-hmm. Aww. 
At least they were already in the wrong spots before I spilled them. That's thinking on the positive side. Sayori. Here. <laughs> I hand Sayori the bottle of apple juice. Aww. It's nice and cold. And partially drank. I don't know how that happened. <laughs> Sayori opens the cap. Oh, okay. And starts drinking from it. There you go. Sayori, what are you doing? It's for your forehead, idiot. Ah. Uh... Sorry, I forgot. <laughs> Dory. How hard did you hit your head exactly? Sayori places the bottle against the bump on her forehead. Aw. It stings. Just bear with it. It'll feel better soon. Aw. So sweet. Looks like you cleaned up most of the crayons. So that's good. Hey, Jaleb. This kind of reminds you of growing up, doesn't it? Yeah. What do you Aww. mean? You know how we used to play outside all the time? I would always try to keep up with you. You were kind of oblivious in some ways. <laughs> what are you talking about? You're a harem protagonist, of course. Like I usually fell behind or had trouble climbing on the things you did. But sometimes when I tried to do things I couldn't, I would get myself hurt. I'd fall and scrape myself or get a bump. And I wouldn't start crying really hard. I would start crying really hard. <laughs> And you would rush over as quick as you could. You would try really hard to get me to stop crying. It's almost like you blamed yourself and were afraid of getting in trouble if someone found out. Even though it really wasn't your fault at all, you know? Did I really do that? Hmm. Yeah, you, you don't remember? Come to think of it, maybe I do remember a bit. Hmm. I guess I was always so focused on my games that I didn't pay enough attention to you. Mm -hmm. So in a way, it was my fault. <clears throat> kind of like this time, too. Aww. If I wasn't rushing you out of the closet, you probably wouldn't have hit your head. Aww. Jaleb, I don't think you realize it, but you're always thinking about other people. I am? <laughs> <laughs> even after all these years, you're rushing to help me even though I'm just being clumsy. You're really a sweetheart. Aw, there's little changes to her face here and there when... Don't call me that. Aw. And I don't really do this kind of thing all the time. Aw. I guess when it comes to you, it it just feels natural. Aw. Before I even know it, I'm treating you like that. This is sweet. I guess that's what happens when you've been friends for so long. Yeah. Really? Maybe you're right. Jaleb... I'm so glad that nothing's changed between us. Do you think it'll be like this forever? Oh my god, we're like... Until the horror starts kicking I think, in, I think yes. we're like about to unlock the, like the, the relationship or something like that. Forever. If I'm honest to myself, there's no telling where we'll end up for in college. Oh. For college or after that. Are we too pragmatic? So it wouldn't be fair to, for me to make uh, any promises. Oh. But. But. Well... I hope so. Oh, there we go. It's been this long already, right? <laughs> I can't imagine you ever changing. So, oh. my hopes are up, as well as something else. <laughs> I'm so happy. Sayori has a whimsical expression in her eyes. We remain silent for a moment. Aww. She's so silly and clumsy on the outside that when I see her deep in thought like this, mm. it makes me very confused. <laughs> It makes me not want to disturb her. I guess we should go back. I don't want to worry Monica, you know. Good luck with that. <laughs> She's going to see her forehead either way. Yeah, yeah. Not if I hide it under my bangs. Sayori hops to her feet. New track. Ah! She clutches her forehead again. Don't stand up so fast after hurting yourself. Oh. Well, I guess it's too late now. Anyway, let's go. I follow Sayori out of the classroom. Sayori plays with her bangs to try to hide the bump, but without much success. In a moment, we make it back to the club room. Ah, you're back. Good timing. I was just about ready to start with sharing our poems. Hey, Sayori, your forehead. She's fine. Don't worry about. 
I was playing with the crayons and smacked my forehead into the shelf. Uh, uh, well, anyway, <laughs> were you able to find everything we needed? Uh-huh, I had it right. Eh? Sorry, Sorry frantically, frantically glances, glances around, around herself. I forgot all of the stuff. Calm, Calm down. down, Sayori. Okay. I have it all right here. I found the poster paper, too. <laughs> Sounds like you ended up doing all the work, Jalen. Oh, oh, well, Sayori. I failed to come up with an excuse for Sayori. I made it an adventure. Yeah, that. <laughs> okay. Okay. In any case, good work. I'll start working on the posters tonight. Me too. Okay, everyone. Are you ready to share your poems? Guess I should grab mine. After making sure the crayon box is closed tightly, I return to my seat. Uh, Sayori, let's just, sure, let's just keep going with the usual. Jaleb, I really love your poems. I can't believe you've been hiding these from me. I'm not hiding anything. But your poems are so good. Yesterday's and this one too? You can't tell me you haven't done this before. I mean, you're really the only one who feels that way, so... Eh? No way. Not even Natsuki? Well, I guess Natsuki is the least likely to admit how much she, she likes something. But I don't think it's that. Can you please talk louder? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> what do you mean? Well, I guess I'll be honest about it. It's a lot easier to write poems when I'm thinking about you. Oh my gosh. Eh? Wow, 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 wow. Stop thinking weird things, idiot. I just mean that you're really, a really expressive person, I guess. How am I supposed to write poems about my own stupid life? But you somehow make everything in your life an adventure. Ah. Even the little things, especially the little things. Like cooking. Let's not talk about that. <laughs> so... Yeah. I guess what I'm saying is that I can feel more feelings through you than I can through myself. Oh, we've got our own problems, dang. We have that kind of weird connection. It's your fault for getting in my business all the time. <laughs> eh? I don't know if I understand. Sigh. <laughs> you never understand when I try to explain things to you, do you, Sayori? I pat Sayori's. Oh, okay. I pat Sayori's head. Ah, uh, hey. I'm not a kid, you know. Are you sure about that? Mm, maybe. <laughs> Sayori starts fiddling with her pencil between her hands. Hey, Jaleb. Will you give me your poem? I kind of want to keep it. Oh. Huh? Why? Because, well. It's the first time you've written something for me. Eh. <sighs> Sayori, you completely misunderstood. I didn't write this for you. <laughs> Sigh. Are you even listening anymore? Jeez, we're being, we're well, being really mean. Whatever. I'll give it to you when we get home. <laughs> when we go home. God. <laughs> really? Snap. Ah, ah, I broke my pencil. <laughs> She's like... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sayori hastily bends down to pick up the piece she dropped. Panty shot incoming. But being inattentive of her surroundings, she bumps right into me. This is a sorry. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> I'll get it for you. I bend down and pick up the broken pencil. Sayori clutches the desk beside her to support herself, knees shaking. I'm a little clumsy today. <laughs> Let's sit down, Sayori. Yeah, yeah. I grab Sayori's arm 
and help her sit at the desk. Anyway, I still haven't read your poem. Oh! Sorry, I forgot about that. But it's not as good as yours. Jeez. Don't worry. <laughs> I'm sure I'll like it. Oh, man. Whoa, this is a long one. Okay. Bottles. Whoa, the bottles. I pop off my scalp like the lid of a oh. cookie jar. It's the secret place where I keep all my dreams. Hmm. Little balls of sunshine, all rubbing together like a bundle of kittens. I reach inside with my thumb and forefinger and pluck one out. It's warm and tingly, but there's no time to waste. I put it in a bottle to keep it safe, and I put the bottle on a shelf with all the other bottles. Happy thoughts, happy thoughts, happy thoughts in bottles all in a row. My collection makes me lots of friends. Each bottle a starlight to make amends. Sometimes my friend feels a certain way. Down comes a bottle to save the day. Night after night, more dreams. Friend after friend, more bottles. D deeper and deeper my fingers go, like exploring a dark cave, discovering the secrets hiding in the nooks and crannies, digging and digging, scraping and scraping. I blow dust off my bottle caps. It doesn't feel like time elapsed. My empty shelf could use some more. My friends look through my locked front door. Finally, all done. I open up and in come my friends. In they come, in such a hurry. Do they want my bottles that much? I frantically pull them from the shelf, one after the other, holding them out to each and every friend, each and every bottle. But every time I let one go, it shatters against the tile between my feet. Happy thoughts, happy thoughts, happy thoughts in shards all over the floor. They were supposed to be for my friends, my friends who aren't smiling. They're all shouting, pleading, something. But all I hear is echo, 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 echo inside my head. Okay. Oh, this started off great and went not so good. Yeah. But the pop off my scalp like the yeah, lid yeah. of a cookie uh -huh. jar I think is foreshadowing. Uh -huh. like, right. Whew. It seems like she's basically like putting on a mask. Putting on a mask, exactly. Tears her up inside. And yep. And she doesn't have anything for herself. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. But she every time she tries to give her feelings out to others, they shatter mm -hmm. against the... Okay. Yeah. And the friends aren't smiling, but they're shouting, pleading. Right. Sounds like they're, like, worried about her, basically. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Dang, okay. Okay. Jeez. Holy, Holy crap. crap. <laughs> Sayori, did you really write this? Of course I did. Didn't I tell you yesterday I was going to write the best poem ever? I don't think she did. Or... Yeah, but... I mean... I didn't expect something like this uh, coming from you. Monica taught me a whole lot. And I've been really in touch with my feelings recently. <laughs> I wonder why. I see that. It's almost kind of creepy. Creepy? Well, not exactly. Maybe because I'm so used to you being cheerful. Oh. Well, never mind. I'm thinking too hard about it. <laughs> that makes my brain hurt. The point is, it came out good. So you should be proud of it. Mm -hmm. Aw, thanks. I feel like... I feel like I was meant to express myself this way. Aw. It even helps me understand my own feelings a little bit better. Writing is like magic. You've gotten pretty passionate about this, huh? I hope you keep it up. Oh my gosh. Yeah! Writing's the best. I'm gonna keep writing until I die. Which might be very soon. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get ahead of yourself. Sayori's always had a habit of getting obsessed with something before <laughs> dropping it no more than a week later. Absolute tops. I wonder if this is one of those times. But seeing the passion in her eyes... Makes it hard for me to be pessimistic. Yeah. Very hard. Let's mix things up a bit. Let's do Natsuki first, and she doesn't like us. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. Well, it's not really any worse than your last one. But I can't really say it's any better, either. Phew. Huh? Phew what? Ah. Well, anything that isn't a train wreck, I'll take as a win. And I get the feeling you're probably the most critical. Ooh. Hey, hey, what makes you... Oh, wait, maybe that was a compliment. 
Aha, aha, glad to see someone recognizes my experience. <laughs> well then, keep practicing and maybe you'll be as good as me someday. That's, uh, something tells me Natsuki completely missed the point. <clears throat> Come to think of it, this kind of reminds me of Sayori's poem from yesterday. Eh? You think so? Yeah, well, I guess if you've been friends with her for so long, you might be on the same wavelength. That's kind of what you said yesterday. Mm -hmm. But you never really struck me as her type. Oh, oh, oh. Sayori has a type all of a sudden? Oh, shoot. Well, I don't know, but honestly, how can someone so, er, uh, fluffy spend so much time with someone like you? It's like she's dragging around a dead weight. Ooh. Oh, my God. Shots uh, fired. That was a little unnecessary. <laughs> But think of it this way. If it weren't for me, she would probably just fly away like letting go of a balloon. Oh. You could say we take care of each other in our own way. Mm. Whatever it is, I don't get it. Oh yeah, I guess I'm supposed to show you my poem. Here. Amy likes spiders. You know what I heard about Amy? Amy likes spiders. Icky, wriggly, hairy, ugly spiders. That's why I'm not friends with her. Amy has a cute singing voice. I heard her singing my favorite love song. Every time she sang the chorus, my heart would pound to the rhythm of the words. But she likes spiders. That's why I'm not friends with her. One time I hurt my leg really bad. Amy helped me up and took me to the nurse. I tried not to let her touch me. She likes spiders, so her hands are probably gross. That's why I'm not friends with her. Jeez, Amy has a lot of friends. I always see her talking to people. She probably talks about spiders. What if her friends start to like spiders too? That's why I'm not friends with her. It doesn't matter if she has other hobbies. It doesn't matter if she keeps it private. It doesn't matter if she do if it doesn't hurt anyone. It's gross. She's gross. The world is better off without spider lovers. And I'm going to tell everyone. Oh. Wow. Oh my gosh. So. Okay. So. 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 So this seems like, you know, Yuri. Mm -hmm. Like she's mad at Yuri because of the whole way that we treated Yuri before. Right. Uh-huh. And she. Remember at the end? I'm gonna tell everyone. Yeah. And she was saying like she notices things about Yuri, like her boobs getting magically bigger and stuff. Oh, gotcha. I mean like I, like I've got dirt on her. Like I can. Sure. I can make her look bad. But oh, wow. oh dang, this is Oof. this is uh, yeah, yeah yeah. It's crazy. Okay okay. All right next. All one. right next meme. Not bad, right? It's. Quite a bit longer than yesterday's. <laughs> yeah. Yesterday's was way too short. I was just warming up. I hope you didn't think that was the best I could do. No, of course not. Anyway, the message is pretty straightforward in this poem. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. I doubt I have to explain it. Sometimes you can explain complicated issues with much simpler analogies. And it helps people realize how stupid they're being. Like, anyone would agree that the subject of this poem is an ignorant jerk. Uh, do you know people like that? Of course, it's about how everyone thinks my... That doesn't matter, it can be about anything. Oh... I wrote it to be easy to relate to. Everyone has some kind of weird hobby or a guilty pleasure. Something that you're afraid if people find out they make fun of or they make fun of you or think less of you. But, th but that just makes people stupid. Who cares what someone likes as long as they're not hurting anyone and it makes them happy? I think people really need to learn to respect others for liking weird things. Well, you're definitely right. Mm -hmm. At least, I can relate to that. Mm. And I'm sure a lot of other people can too. Totally. It's what I do best after all. I don't like writing unless there's a good message to take away from it. Like, conveying emotions is important, but I want to make people think, not just feel. Remember that. I'm going to write a good one for tomorrow, too, so look forward to it. All right. Uh, I'm just going to check for subs and stuff. Oh, yeah. uh, we have uh, Waka Shirimi. Uh, hold on, can I have the mouse real quick? Uh... Arforite, Legendary 18, Logical Paradox, and Tiny Girl 21. Thank you so much for the follows. Percy gifting a sub to Papo Monsta. You're awesome, bro. Thanks. Thanks. That was awesome. Yeah. All right. So now, Yuri. 
<laughs> Someone says, oh my god, I love that you guys are actually analyzing the poems. Oh, cool. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, some people are getting timed out and stuff. Be nice, people. Mm -hmm. We want to be able to look at the chat. It's nice having people who play the game and actually pay attention to sitting doing the classic YouTuber reaction. Uh, <laughs> okay. I like whoever the mods are. <laughs> yeah. MC, WTF? Rude, yeah, rude, yeah. rude, 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 <laughs> rude. That's why I was hyped for this playthrough in particular. Monaco's so thoughtful. That's the description of the bro's whole channel. Pay attention. Do good analysis. Hey. <laughs> Caleb's Thank title you. is the Shooketh. <laughs> Monka S, Monka S. Okay, people right. were people are saying yeah. things, and those messages yeah. got deleted, so that's good. Yuri time. So now I get to be the boy. Um, uh, are are you still mad at me? Eh? For disrespecting Natsuki yesterday, because reading this poem. Now I know why you got mad at me. Oh. Because you. You prefer her writing over mine. That's not really true. Meaning, when I disrespected her, I disrespected you too, didn't I? Oh no. Yuri, you might be reading into this a little bit too much. How could I be so stupid? I always let these things happen. Whenever I think before I speak, I just come off as awkward and unlikable. But if I speak without thinking, the things I want to keep inside come out and make people hate me. Oh, gotcha. So, please don't force yourself to be around me. I know this is what Monica wants. But it's not fair to you when you could be enjoying your time with Natsuki and Sayori. Yuri. Please. It makes it easier for me if you don't express any concern. Dang. Besides... I have my books with me. Okay. That's all I need. <sighs> Yuri smiles sadly and puts her head down on her desk. I'm frustrated. I don't hate her, but it's as if she's not capable of listening to me over her own thoughts. Yep, yep, definitely. I sigh to myself. All I can do is accept that that's how she is. If she wants to be left alone, then I have no choice but to abide to that request. Wow, all right. So we didn't even get to uh, share poems. Yeah. You realize that? Like, dang. Wow. So yeah. I think what it is, is if we, because we exclusively avoided Yuri mm -hmm. twice, yeah. she's now like closed now, off. Now, the funny thing is that Monica was never listed as... Monica's never liked. listed because I think she's kind of the leader of the because group Because she's here. the leader, it's like she'll always mm -hmm. read it. Yeah. yeah. Hi again. Jayla. <laughs> How's the writing going? God, the way you do the voice. All right, I guess. I'll take that. As long as it's not going bad, I'm happy that you're applying yourself. Maybe soon you'll come up with a masterpiece. I wouldn't count on that. You never know. Want to share what you wrote for today? Uh, sure, here you go. I give my poem to Monica. All right. It's pretty good. It makes me think of Sayori. Like the other one that you wrote. Mm. You two are like the dynamic duo. Haha, <laughs> that's kind of exaggerating it. Yeah. Probably. <laughs> Jeez. But you do spend a lot of time with her in this club. Don't you? Then again, I don't blame you for being a little shy. I'm not shy, it's just... <laughs> I'm just teasing. I know it takes a bit of time to make friends with everyone. But Yuri and Natsuki are super interesting people, so don't be afraid to give them their share of time. <laughs> And you can talk to me every now and then, too. This is really meta. I'm not, like, unapproachable or anything. Am I? Uh, no, it's nothing like that. I'm just still getting used to being here, that's all. Yeah. I'm sorry if I was putting pressure on you or something. I really didn't mean it like that. No, don't worry. I get what you're saying. Well, all right. 
But anyway, you want to read my poem now? I like the way this turned out, so I hope you do too. Okay. All right, let's take a look. Oh, oh save wow. me! Okay, 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 okay. The colors, Cause... they won't stop. Bright, beautiful colors, flashing, expanding, piercing, red, green, blue. An endless cacophony of meaningless noise. The noise, it won't stop. Violent, grating waveforms, squeaking, screeching, piercing, sine, cosine, tangent. Like playing a chalkboard on a turntable, like playing a vinyl on a pizza crust. Why the... Why the lines going out to the side here? An endless poem of meaningless. Oh, it's still scrolling down. Load me. Wait, what? Scroll up, scroll up. Hold on. Save me, the colors won't stop. Bright, beautiful colors flashing. Wait a minute. RGB. Yeah, yeah, RGB. RGB. Yeah. Wait. Meaningless noise, go down. Violent grading waveforms. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Sine and cosine and tangent. Yep, yep. Uh, uh. Like playing a chalkboard on a turntable. Wait a minute. Like playing a vinyl on a pizza crust. Like a disc? I mean, this isn't a disc game, but... That is kind of interesting. It does oh, seem to be yes. correlating to... And then load, uh, load me... me. That seems to be like um, relevant to the game. Can we? Yeah, and save me and. Can load we click me. on anything? Okay. Huh. This is weird. This is very weird. Um. All right, let's 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 be done here. Yeah. Let's yeah. See what she says next. Uh, yeah. Hmm. It's even more abstract than your last one, huh? Save and load. Oh, uh, save, yeah. Well, well, well. Oh. Wait, how would we have a load if we haven't saved? Wait. Save the game first of all. Save. Okay, there's all empty slots, never mind. Okay, just, yeah, just click there. Yeah. Uh -huh. Click there. Um, no, let's go return. Two. Return, return, return. Return. Go, hit return. Okay, yeah, yeah. Hit return. Now go load. Um, okay, no, 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 just hit no and return. Never mind. Wait. Return, just return. Okay. Okay, never mind. Um, I'm just freaking out for a second there. Let's try it. Because we'll it'll take what? us back to this point anyways. That was literally the game we just saved, Jacob. No, I know. So why would we do that? No, here's it what, says here's... save and load. So. Yes, that was always there, though. The thing was is that the load wasn't highlighted before. So, so Jacob... Those parts were all there. The load was blank like skip. Right. Go to load. Mm -hmm. Scroll through all the pages. Okay, nothing. Go just get return. Hit return. Okay. I think we just need to pay attention to these kind of little oddities that seem a little bit off. It said save and load, though. Yeah, what do you mean? Okay, what if we tried just loading the other one? Well, there was no other one. We saved no, no, the, the game. The one that, the one that we just saved, because it said save me, and then load, so... Okay, fine. Go for it. Go for it. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, cool. Okay. Keep going. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> I guess it's just the way I write. I'm sorry if you don't like it. No, I never said that. It's just the kind of thing I've never really seen before, I guess. I kind of like playing with my space on the paper. Choosing where and how to space your words can totally change the mood of the Yeah, poem. the whole thing with the lines being indented, mm -hmm. bigger indents, was a little bit odd. It's almost like magic. Huh. It's the second time people have said writing The way magic. I wrote the lines really short makes it feel like they're trying to speak over the noise. Oh. I see. <laughs> it's still hard for me to tell what it's about, though. Yeah, because you're a <laughs> dense harem protagonist. Sometimes asking what a poem is about isn't the right question. Well, what is the right question, Monica? A poem can be as abstract as a physical expression of a feeling. 
I'm getting or really a conversation right with the reader. Uh, this is getting so putting it that way. Not every every poem is about something. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes you'll find yourself facing a difficult decision. <laughs> when that happens, don't forget to save your game. Ah. Uh... You never know when you might change your mind. Wait a minute. Wait. Okay, all right, keep Wait. going, keep going. Or when something unexpected may happen. <laughs> Wait, is this tip even about writing? Oh. What am I even talking about? Is she possessed? Okay. <laughs> I, I think, I think she's possessed. Okay, um. The noise, no, she's got another voice in her head. That's what it is. Okay, okay, so, so, okay. Wait, what's history? That's just the things we've, the things we've said. We can click on it for sure. Let's click on it. Yeah, it's just the things that have been said thus far. So we could look through everything in the recent conversation. Yeah, sure. yeah that makes sense. Yeah, let's keep going. That's my advice for today. Oh, okay. Thanks for listening. Okay, so... Okay, everyone. We're all done reading each other's poems, right? I have something extra planned today, so if everyone could come sit at the front of the room. Ooh. Is this about the festival? Well, sort of. Uh, do we really have to do something for the festival? It's not like we can put together anything good in just a few days. We'll just end up embarrassing ourselves instead of getting any new members. That's a concern of mine as well. I don't really do well with last-minute preparations. Don't worry so much. We're going to keep it simple, okay? We won't need much more than a few decorations. Sayari has been working on posters, and I have designed some pamphlets we can give out during the event. Okay, that's great and all. But that doesn't tell us what we're actually going to be doing for the event. Oh, sorry. I thought you heard about it already. We're going to be performing. Performing? <laughs> Yuri, um, we... Monica. <laughs> Yuri is not excited about this. <laughs> yeah, we're going to be having a poetry performance. Each of us are going to choose a poem to recite during the event. But the cool part is... We're also going to let anyone else come up and recite poems, too. Okay. Hmm. Sayori's putting it all on the posters in case anyone wants to prepare ahead of time. Gotcha. <laughs> Sayori, who's been coloring a poster, holds it up for us to see. Are you kidding me, Monica? You didn't, you didn't already start putting those posters up, did you? <laughs> well, I did. Do you really think it's that bad of an idea? Well, no. It's not a bad idea. But I didn't sign up for this, you know. There is no way I'm going to be performing in front of a group of people like that. I... I agree with Natsuki. I could never, in in my life, do something like that. <laughs> no, she probably could. Imagining it, Yuri shakes her head in fear. <laughs> Guys! No. Sayori. I understand where they're coming from. Remember that Natsuki and Yuri have never shared their poems with anyone until just a couple days ago. It's a lot to ask them to recite their poems out loud to a whole room full of people. I guess I kind of overlooked that. So, I'm sorry. Hmm. But, I still think we should give it our best. We're the only ones responsible for the fate of this club. If we start the event in Putty, and each put on a good performance, then it will inspire others to do the same. And the more people who've performed, the better we'll be able to show everyone what literature is all about. Yeah, it's about expressing your feelings, being intimate with yourself, finding new horizons, and having fun. That's right. And it's those reasons that we're all in this club today. Don't you want to share that with others? To inspire them to find the same feelings that brought you here in the first place? <laughs> I know you do. 
I know we all do. And if all it takes is standing in front of the room for two minutes and reciting a poem, then I know you can do it. Hmm. Uh. Natsuki and Yuri remain silent. Sayori looks worried. I guess that leaves me no choice. I agree. I don't think it's too much to ask. I think that Sayori and Monica have been trying really hard to get new members. And the least we can do is help them out a little bit. Well, maybe, but... Mm. It looks, looks like, like Natsuki, Natsuki doesn't, doesn't have any arguments left. Oh, I was doing the guy for okay. now. Uh... Okay, fine. I guess I'll just have to get it over with. All right! Phew. Thanks, Natsuki. What about you, Yuri? Mm. Yuri dejectedly glanced around at everyone's ex everyone else's expectant faces. Sigh. <laughs> I, I guess I don't really have a choice. <laughs> Aha! So that's everyone! You're the best, Yuri! This club is seriously going to be the death of me. Oh, they keep saying like, oh, things like that. Oh, gosh. <laughs> You'll be fine, Yuri. You will be fine. <laughs> but anyway, let's move on to the main event. I want each of you to cho choose a poem of yours. We're going to practice reciting them in front of each other. Oh. No, no, no way. Monica. This is, t this is too sudden. Well, if you can't recite your poem in front of the club, how do you expect to do it in front of strangers? It's oh, true. No. It's true. Don't worry. I'll start off to help everyone feel a little more comfortable. Uh, can I go next? <laughs> of course. Now, let's see. Monica flips through her note er, Monica flips through her notebook to the specific poem she has in mind for herself. She then stands behind the podium. The title of this poem is The Way They Fly. Ahem. Monica begins reciting her poem. Her clear, confident voice fills the room. More than that, her inflection is pristine. She knows exactly how to apply emotion behind each line she recites, bringing the words to life. Is this something she's done before, or is she sim simply a natural? I glance around me. Everyone has their eyes on Monica. Sayori looks amazed. Yuri has an intense expression on her face that I don't understand. Finally, Monica finishes the recitation. The four of us applaud. Monica takes a breath and smiles. That, that was so good, Monica! <laughs> Thank you very much. I was just hoping to set a good example. Are you ready to go next, Sayori? Uh, I'll go next. Uh, well, Yuri's fired up all of a sudden. Yuri clutches a sheet of paper between her hands and stands up. Keeping her head down, she walks quickly over to the podium. This poem's called... Yuri anxiously glances at each of us. You can do it, Yuri. It, it's called... After, after Image of a Crimson Eye. Ooh. Yuri's voice shakes as she starts reading the poem. Just a moment ago, she practically refused to do this. Why is she suddenly putting in so much effort? As Yuri gets past the first couple of lines, her voice changes. It's almost like what happens when Yuri gets absorbed into her books. Her quivering words transform into the sharp syllables of a fierce and confident woman. Ooh. The poem is full of twists and turns in its structure that she enunciates with perfect timing. This must be a rare glimpse into the whirling fire Yuri keeps concealed inside her head. Suddenly, she's finished. Everyone is stunned. Yuri snaps back into reality and glances around her as if she'd bewildered even herself. I... It's up to me to save the situation. I'm the first to start applauding. Everyone joins me afterward and we give Yuri the recognition she deserves. Oh, It's not that we didn't want to applaud for her, but we were caught so off guard that, she must have, that we must have forgotten. As we applaud, Yuri holds the poem to her chest and rushes back into her seat. Yuri, that was really good. Thank you for sharing. Looks like Yuri is down for the count. <laughs> okay! I guess I'm next then. Sayori hops out of her chair and cheerfully walks to the podium. This one's called My Meadow. 
Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, sorry, I, I giggled. <laughs> Sayori. It's a lot harder than I thought. <laughs> How did you guys do it so easily? Uh. Try not to think of it like you're reciting to other people. Imagine you're reciting it to yourself, like in front of a mirror, or in your own head. It's your poem, so it'll come out the best that way. I see, I see. Okay, then. Sayori begins her poem. Somehow, it feels like her soft voice was made as a perfect match. The poem isn't aimlessly cheery like Sayori is. It's serene and bittersweet. Wow. If I were to read this on paper, I probably wouldn't think much of it. But hearing it come from Sayori's voice almost gives it a whole new meaning. Wow. Maybe this is what Sayori meant when she said she likes my poems. Mm, it's like yeah. I get to reach more deeply into someone I thought I knew through and through. Sayori finishes, and we applaud. I, I did it! <laughs> Good job, Sayori. <laughs> Even Jaleb liked it. <laughs> Oh, I guess that's a good sign. <laughs> what does that even mean? It came out nicely, Sayori. The atmosphere of the poem fits you really nicely. But it might be that other poems wouldn't work quite as well with this with that kind of delivery. Okay, you didn't need to say that, Monica. Eh, I don't really understand. In other words, I've seen poems of yours where that sort of gentle delivery wouldn't work as well. They might need a little more force behind them, depending on what you're reading. Oh, I know what you mean. That's, well, I've been practicing that kind of thing. It's just embarrassing to do it in front of everyone. <laughs> See, I can just tell when she's going to giggle next. The next time, I'm going to make you pick a poem that challenges you a bit more. Oh. We don't have much time before the festival, you know? Oh, okay. Okay. Now, who's next? Natsuki? Hmm. Don't make me go before Jaleb. It's not like I can compare to you guys anyway. Might as well let Jaleb lower everyone's standards a little bit before I have to do it. That's key. It's fine. It's fine. I might as well get it over with. But it's not like I have much of a selection of what to read. <laughs> I'll just have to go with what I wrote for today. What do you want to do? Uh, I stand up and step in front of the podium. Everyone has their eyes on me, making me feel terribly awkward. <laughs> I recite my poem. Since I'm not exactly confident in my own writing, it's hard to put energy into it. Despite that, once I finish, I receive applause anyway. Nice. Sorry. I'm not really as good as everyone else. Don't worry about it so much. <laughs> I still think it's less about your abilities, and more about your lack of confidence in your writing. Mm. That's something that'll improve over time, though. Yeah, maybe. All right, then. That just leaves you, Natsuki. Yeah, yeah. I'm going. Natsuki begrudgingly gets out of her seat and makes her way to the podium. The poem is called... It's called... Why are you all looking at me? Because you're... Oh. Uh, because you're presenting. Hmm. <laughs> Anyway, the poem is called Jump. Natsuki takes a breath. When she starts reciting the poem, her, sa her sour attitude disappears a little. While she's still a little unenthused, her poem has a rhythm and a rhyme to it. It's Natsuki's trademark style, and it works surprisingly well when spoken aloud. The words feel like they bounce up and down, as if giving life to the poem. Natsuki finishes, and everyone applauds. She huffs back to her seat. <laughs> That wasn't so bad, was it? Easy for you to say. You'd better not make me do that again. <laughs> well, do you at least feel prepared enough to recite a poem in front of other people? I mean, doing it in front of other people will be way easier. I can put on whatever face I want for other people. Oh! Oh! Okay. Okay. All right. But when it's just my friends... It's just embarrassing. That's a surprise, Natsuki. I think it would be the other way around for me. Well, that's just how it is, so... Well, I guess in that case, you won't have much to worry about for the festival. 
That said, I want to thank everyone for coming through. It might be hard, but I hope that you all have an idea of what it's like now. Make sure you pick a poem and get enough practice before the festival, okay? I'll be making pamphlets, so let me know ahead of time what you'll be reciting. Jeez. I should probably find some other poem to recite instead. <laughs> That's fine, too. It doesn't have to be your own. Hmm. I'm already pleasantly surprised that you're putting in all this effort for the club. Yeah. It makes me really happy. Skirt flip. <laughs> uh, yeah, n no problem. Okay, everyone. Wait, is this the next day? New track, I think. No, I think... I think that's just... about it for today. I know the festival is coming up, but let's try to write poems for tomorrow as well. It's been working out really nicely so far. I'd like to continue that. As for the festival, we'll finish planning tomorrow, and then we'll have the weekend to prepare. Monday's the big day. I can't wait! I can do this. I can do this. All right. I stand up. There's no way I'll be able to find the same enthusiasm as Sayori and Monica, but I'll do my best to get through it. If it's for the sake of the club, and impressing Monica, then I'll have to do my best. Re ready to go? S oh, wait, sorry. sorry. Ready to go, Sayori. Yep. Look at you two, always going home together like that. It's kind of adorable, isn't it? <laughs> Jeez, guys. Don't make such a big deal out of it. It must be a little nice, though. Well, uh... How am I supposed to respond to that? It's okay, Jaleb. You don't have to say it. Whatever. Let's go already. Okay. I walk home with Sayori once more. Even though it's only been a few days, a lot of things have already changed. Today, Sayori is being a little quieter than usual on the way home. Hmm. Hey, Sayori. Hmm? Sorry, I was spacing out. Ugh. No wonder. Um. I was thinking about something from earlier. I like how we get to. I mean, I, I mean. Sayori fumbles with the words. So let's just say that one day, Yuri asked to walk home with you. Oh, well, here it is. Huh? What would you do? What kind of question is that? You're kind of putting me on the spot here. <laughs> oh, dang. This oh. is where we save. This is where we save. Save. New, new slot. New slot. Okay. Okay, okay. Here's the I thing. I think maybe this would be a good place to stop. I, I think this might be a great place to stop. Like, the thing with this is that this is kind of one of those things where it seems kind of simple and innocent, mm -hmm. but it's probably, like, it's probably, like, the relationship choice. Like, if, uh -huh. we, if we choose to walk home with Sayori, mm -hmm. we are, like, right. we are going, mm -hmm. like, steady, yeah. essentially. Yeah. Basically saying that I would prefer her to any other girl. Right. You know? So that's a, that's a good thing. So... Yeah, save here. It's pretty good. But, okay, just, so we've had some weird things thus we far. Yeah. Monica, it's not just your voice. Like, the way some of the things that she says seems a little Yeah, creepy. I know. Like, what was, like, okay. Because that whole thing with the... The save me. The save me. And, and originally, me. it's like, okay. Originally, I'm thinking, all right, she. it's a cry for help. Yeah, but now... But now then I, there's the load me at the end, and it's like, okay. Yeah, yeah. I think, I think that she's got, like like a multiple personality problem uh-huh because 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 so we have so we have yuri who i think has social anxiety and like actually has a little bit of a like a little bit of a like i don't know like a little bit of maybe some anger issues or something because okay she like mm -hmm. blurts out little things that she doesn't like yeah they're really intense so um the main thing is i'm, I'm concerned about is it seems like i'm not really sure what's going on with sayori other than she seems to be... She seems the most normal in some ways. Right, but it seems like also, also she has the um, the contrast. She sure. has the extreme positivity, mm -hmm. which is the giggliness and the spacing out and all right. that, with other people analyzing that there's a lot of sadness in her. Sure. So what it probably is is that she likes us a lot, 
mm -hmm. and has liked us a lot. Uh -huh. But we've never given her because like, we are dumb hair and protagonists. We are dumb hair and protagonists. We're so, still so rude to her, like jeez. Right, we're pretty rude to her. Yeah, geez. it's like there, the choices in this game really there aren't that many. There aren't that many. No. And the choices where I would wish there were would be on things for like yeah. little verbiage things. Mm -hmm. But then with, uh, I feel like we we lost the opportunity to get to know um, Natsuki. Because yeah. Natsuki... And Yuri, we, in a way. Well, kind of. But Natsuki, she likes manga. Mm -hmm. And she likes weird things, apparently. Right. And yet, people probably would judge her for that. So mm -hmm. she feels probably the most, like, uh, kind of yeah. alone. Like, she's lonely or something. Uh-huh. Or, uh, sure. or something like that. I don't know. Yeah. What, what do you think? Um, I'd say that's, that's about spot on, it seems like. Okay. Um, and then... Yuri seems like the the one that actually would be kind of like the, the craziest, okay. maybe, like because she seems fairly put together from the surface, but there's a lot of stuff that seems like oh she seems put together to you. Well, kind of like like she has her issues, but the thing is I don't think she has she she really processes things. Well, so, I think yeah she like, has she has chaos going on inside. Exactly yeah. yeah, and if that ever like you know blew up, then that would be right. I I, yeah. I that's why I keep thinking that uh, Sayori is the most normal, like you were saying, that she's the most put together. Not put together in terms of order and structure, but put together in that she doesn't have anything really, really right. wrong with her. Yeah, like, like, like maybe, like, maybe Natsuki has an inferiority but... complex a little uh -huh. bit, you know. Although, it might just be that we don't see um, that side of Sayori just because things are going well. Sure, you know? but sure. If, but if they didn't, I could totally see that being something where she yeah. kind of snaps. Yeah. Um, and that would be really weird because she's so cheerful, so what would that look like when she's not? Right, I'm gonna thank follows and subs. Uh, we have uh, Tuck Wu, uh, CK Two Play, Milton Plays, Suck Gals, Zangi, Zangief Styroid, and Kui Queg Theater. Thank you so much for the follows. Glad nice. to have you here. Uh, we have a 01418 with the Twitch Prime sub. Thank you so mm -hmm. much. Welcome to the SOS Brigade. Make sure to yep. join our Discord in the uh, uh, sub only room. Right. Okay, what have we, what's been going on in chat? Let's be uh, be careful here, though. Mm -hmm. uh, the mods abusing their powers makes my day a good day. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Uh, yo, mods, you should probably nuke this thread. Okay, okay, okay. Stop, stop. Yeah. Yeah. I see people saying mods should nuke this thread. That's when. Yeah. That's when you know things are bad. Uh huh. So, oh, Spinderbolt, thank you so much for the follow. Yes. Glad to have you here. All right. Okay, so I think this was overall very successful. Mm -hmm. Guys, thank you so much for watching. We're yes. going to call this here and uh, pick this up again next week, mm -hmm. uh, 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Right. We'll try to go for this kind of length, you know, about two and a half hours or so. Yeah. Um, we could probably go a little bit longer some other time, but the, the main thing is that this is the first, like, looking like the first big decision beyond the other previous one that we had, right. which was... Uh, Dealing with their um, argument or what have you. Yes, yes. But big thing though is the Monica had the like tutorial message basically. I know. Yeah. Like, like which which doesn't seem like this is the kind of game that needs a tutorial. You know. Right. It's very so, simple. But, like, but oh boy. Like yeah. That because see yeah. what, what that what that made me think of is that there was some there would be some kind of like Easter egg where if it was possible to like save and then load right, like right. back onto her letter but of course like then the letter or the, the poem that but then the poem's closed right but because it said save me so that that could be monica talking about herself or it could be talking about the poem itself gotcha so, see what i think it's gonna be is that we will finish this game and if we ever play it again we'll have context as to like oh that's what some of those things mean oh okay like the letters specifically, like the letters we should have all like taken screenshots of them. Uh huh. Like the letters yeah. are the biggest. Like the when when they talk. Uh huh. When they talk, they actually give less characterization in their talking. Right. Most of they, it's in the letters. Most of it is in the or letters. In the po poetry. The the poetry. Yeah. Now, okay. Now this is my big question. So so, there's the RGB thing in the Monica thing. Now that the save me load me that's obvious, right? But the RGB, that's... And yeah, sine, cosine, tangent. Uh-huh. Yeah. That, and and the spinning and the whirring and all that stuff. What that makes me think is yeah. the inside of a computer. 
it makes me think also of like a, a disc. Right, exactly. Yeah. Because so, she had the whole thing of the uh, playing the uh, turntable uh, vinyl. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. Turntable and that's vinyl. Disc, you know. Yeah, yeah. 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 Um, so. Yeah. All right. Well, this is good. Guys, we're going to end it here. Thank you so much for watching. Appreciate you all so much. Please leave a uh, follow. Uh, yeah, yeah, All we'll we'll, we'll yeah. figure out what to do with the vod if we're just gonna leave it on Twitch or put it on YouTube. We'll mm-hmm. we'll we'll see. Yeah. But uh, yeah, until uh, next time, uh, we're semblance of sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. Actually, let's do all this in full screen so y'all can. Oh right. Hang out with us here. Hey. Hola. 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 Yeah. Thank you so much, guys, and uh, yeah, come again uh, next week. Oh yeah, tomorrow. Uh, I'm moving the time for my usual gaming stream down to 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time to match with this specifically. Ah. So I'll be doing that there when Jacob goes to play D&D. Gotcha. And uh, yeah. Cool. Uh, we'll, uh, we'll see you there. But yeah. All right. Have a good one. All right. Bye. Bye, guys.